I was here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that Joker face. Do you like it? That's the best Joker I've ever seen in my life. It's Friday, and we're playing a bunch of classic platformers for your favorite retro gaming console, the Atari Lynx. Hi, everybody. It's Retro Pals Mascot Friday, the show with many uh, asterisks attached to it. You said that like a broken TikTok voice. I respect it. <laughs> Watching my favorite game. Playing my favorite Atari Lynx games on the world's largest Ferris wheel. It's Retro Pals. It's the end of the week. We're getting fast and loose. We're playing against a bunch of games that uh, barely qualify as games. Well, some of them do. Some of them are good. Some of them are the worst thing you've ever seen in your entire life, at least uh, gauging by my, my early experiments with this. But we're going to play every single Atari Lynx platformer tonight, and we will rank them by God. That is my promise to you. Hi. Here's, here's us, by the way. Alex is here, too. I'm here. We're going to do this. I thought we did this before. I thought we ranked all the Atari Lynx games, but apparently we didn't. We've just been ignoring this poor system the entire time. This thing literally has like six or seven platformers that are eligible for our list and a few more that we're not going to rank, but I still want to show off just for completeness sake mm -hmm. and because I want a YouTube archive. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Alex, why don't you thank some folks? All right. Hello, and thank you to Revenger of Vengeance for the 23-month resub. Welcome, and hi, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nis. 36-month resub. That's three, three, three years. Thank you. That's, uh, yeah, that checks out. Thank you. Three whole Fiddle years. DD, three years on TV. Are we on TV? Are you the math jester? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's not yes, a... I'm a math magician. Oh, Thank Jesus you. Christ. For the 72-month reason. I appreciate that. That's Thank uh, you. six or seven years, one of those. Thank you. Thank you, Refurb, for the 43 months. That's a lot of months still. So Thank many you months. Thank you so much. And step aside with the 50-bit donation. Thank you very much for the 50-50 bits. We hey, appreciate it. Welcome to the show. All right, we're doing this. I did a bunch of research on this stream today. Honestly, too much. More than the system deserves. Uh... The Retro Pals community on Discord tried to band together to figure out the mystery of the first game. We didn't come to a satisfactory resolution by the time the stream started, so let's just jump right into it. Alex. Wait, is this the thing you said was controversial? Yeah, we're going to unravel the Fat Bobby controversy here tonight. Tosiru, thank you for the sub. Thank you. 56 months. Thanks. Here you go, Alex. You are Fat Bobby. Okay, hold on. You mentioned something about Fat Bobby. And I'm curious about what, what, what it is about Fat Bobby. So, Atari Lynx ROM sets, including the official recognized ones that have been validated, will tell you this is an officially released uh, Lynx game. It's not. This is a fucking prototype. It has a bunch of cheats built in. You can't finish some of the levels. It's blatantly incomplete, but it's a, an Atari Lynx game, so no one gave enough of a shit to figure that out. They just put it in the ROM list as a released game. Yeah. Here's the thing. There is a finalized version that was produced onto a series of reproduction cards, which usually means it very quickly gets dumped and distributed. Not in this case. No one gave a shit. There is a complete version of Fat Bobby out there somewhere. No one's dumping it, and uh, that will probably continue into the future. Aw, oh, man. If you look at this title screen, it's actually giving you instructions for how to enter cheat mode, so this is definitely pre-production material. So... Because of the rules of Mascot Friday, we can't rank this, but I do want to show this off because it is called Fat Bobby, and we have to play it. All right, Fat Bobby. Let's Alex see how fat first. this Bobby is. Okay, I found pause. Yeah, the A and B buttons are triangle and circle. The option buttons are square and X. <laughs> is that Fat Bobby? This appears to be a Johnny Bazooka tone-like, believe it or not. <laughs> His band members got stolen, and now you have to rescue them. Whoa, what now, a Alex, weird jump. How do you like the jump in this? This this has jump controls like nothing else I've ever played in my entire life. It kind of drives me nuts. 
This is strange, but it's you, definitely a platformer. Because if you jump from a standstill, it's fine. But if you try to do a running jump, he does a handstand first. Oh, did you see how I died? Like, try to do running jumps. <laughs> and see, if you try to do that at the edge of the platform, he just flips off of it like a dipshit and falls. Because he has to do his stupid little handstand first. Don't hit the, the, the don't hit that. So already we're off to a great start. The controls are absolutely fucked. Uh, it's called Fat Bobby. It doesn't seem like a theme anyone wants or asked for. And in this prototype, this first level is apparently impossible to finish. So Alex, that's my challenge to you. Finish the impossible level. Thanks. Okay, watch out for the cacti. The killer cacti. Fuck! No, jackrabbits and that killer cacti. Oh, game over. You're dead! I got exploded and my eyeballs flew at your head. You're dead as fuck, Alex. I'm Fat really Bobby dead. Fat Bobby is no more. Uh. Oh, is this one of those games where you have to reset? You don't, uh, you can't just... You have to look at the game over screen before you hit the reset switch. That's very Atari. Okay. Uh, hit L2 and R2. Okay. And then push up twice, up again, and hit reset. There you go. So funny. Fat Bobby! Fat Bobby! The brief tradition of uh, making video games based on musicians. Games like Johnny Bazooka Tone, Virtuoso. Okay, but you make that seem like... Oh! Revolution X. Whoa! Okay! How'd you do that? I don't know! <laughs> it stopped, though. So he attacks with his guitar or, I guess, spitballs. It's like a forward motion. Okay. Watch out for that. Yeah, that background object that definitely doesn't look deadly, but totally is. I got generated by it, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna be straight with y'all. I don't know if we're gonna get any games tonight that are above Bubsy. <laughs> These are the few that I've tried are pretty fucking dire. I don't know. I'm gonna be rooting for it though. I hope the Atari Lynx had at least one game that uh, surpasses the Bubsy Meridian. So how far? I want to see how far you get in Fat Bobby. Uh, There's Kung Fu. Yeah, Kung Fu, another Atari Lynx game. Doesn't it's it doesn't apply as a platformer, so we're not gonna play that tonight. I don't like how he, when you go down. That's your crouch. Plays. Yeah. <laughs> he's presenting. <laughs> he wants it. Just... Hey, anyone want to do Fat Bobby under the restaurant bar? It's right here. Right for the taking. Danny, that is the worst. Hey, it's your turn. Okay, it's it's my turn in record it's time. It's your turn, please. You. you... <sighs> Fat Bobby. So, I guess Fat Bobby is not the main character, but the character who d takes all your bandmates, correct? Oh, is that what it is? That's yeah, what he, I does, assume. he does seem to be pretty large. I thought it was either your guy or the band was called Fat Bobby. Fat Bobby's a good name for a band. Yeah, okay, so if you if you push left and right while attacking, you do this, and if you stand still, you do this. So it has Amiga-style attacking controls. This jump, I will never get over it. I will I never it. forgive the person who came up with this, because it's purely determined. Once you launch into it, you cannot back out of it until mm. the very last second. And also, if it happens to overlap with the edge of a platform, you just fall. You gotta do your stupid little handstand, because you want to impress everybody, because you're Fat Bobby. Fat Bobby is the main character's name? That sucks. Well, he, I have to say it. That man is not fat in any way, shape, or form. I he's, need to find he's... Optimus for the 19-month resub. Fun time to come into the stream, I see. Things can only get better from here. It's right? perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> All right. So what do you think of Fat Bobby? <laughs> I dislike this greatly, and I'm kind of glad we don't have to rank this. Even better, it seems to be a uh, collectathon oriented platformer. Oh, those are so good, especially when they're complicated and hard and don't make it. Oh, what the fuck? You know it. Okay. Watch out! Good. Whoa. Who is that? He came from Cool World. He sure did! Oh, I take damage if I try to attack him, I see. Fat Bobby, okay, is his name, and the evil guy is, uh, Evil Dr. Mephisto. The musical group isn't, isn't Fat Bobby, I just... Alright, we got a run going on here. I actually have a few hit points. Yeah, well, I did. We're in 
Invincible now? Nice. This is starting to look like a real game. It is. So, if anyone happens to have the, uh, released version of Fat Bobby, <laughs> please let me know how it compares to the prototype. It's for science. And if you could find it in your heart to dump it, um, well, I wouldn't appreciate it, but some people would. Please dump Fat Bobby. Please. We need, we need this as, as a nation to heal. This stage is looping. It, isn't it impossible to finish, literally? I have heard that the first stage is impossible to finish. But Perhaps that's why. We gotta kill this man. Oh, I took damage from that. It feels so bad. That doesn't seem to do shit. Sure doesn't. He's just... Okay, that's fine. And again, it is incomplete. I hear there are cheat codes you can enter. Let's, uh, let's try and do that. Whoa. Is that a cheat code? Whoa. The cheat codes just give you different sassy idol poses. <laughs> If you want to dump Fat Bobby for oh. Danny's birthday... <laughs> Alex? You are a nerd! Cheat! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is sick. What code did you put in? I just held and pressed random buttons until I became Cheat Man. I like Cheat Man. Who would win in a battle, Cheat Man or the Cheat? Uh, I'm sorry, but probably the cheat. Yeah, the cheat would kick his ass. Oh, the cheat would kick anyone's ass. Isn't there like a fucking level select code or something? Let me see if I can do that. There we go. Cheat man in. Hey, here we go. Okay. This is a this is visually interesting. At least what the hell. Different music. Yeah? Yeah, that was a kung fu cab. Do you like the shout out? I like the shout out. Okay, hold both buttons and push up or down to advance or okay. uh, de advance levels. Let's see what the next level looks like. School. You died. I died. Even though I was cheating. Even though you were Cheat Man! Will you ever become Cheat Man again? I hope so. Okay. There we go. Alright. Okay, you have to be Cheat Man to enter the codes. They gave up on this stage. Whoa, well, okay, are you never sure? Mind. I, I take it back. I take it back. That guy's sick. That guy's got it all figured out. Whoa. Superman killed you. He did. Cheat man would be a good emote. Someone do that. I want to see the other levels before. We okay. Move okay. On. I'm just too perplexed by Fat Bobby to fully accept this before we, we move on. No, it's fair. I, I also find Fat Bobby to be a true mystery. Okay, so like uh, you push option 2 and B together to enable cheat mode, and then you hold A and B and push up to advance a level. Okay, we've seen that one. We've seen this one. And yeah, we've seen this one. Alright, Fat Bobby goes to the medieval castle. Of course. Of course he does. God, I love the Lynx graphics. I said it on co-host, but they're scrungy. Fat Bobby is going to get boiling oil poured on his head. Don't worry, I'm Fat Bobby. I can take it all. Oil? Oh boy, I love oil. I will drink it up. The next level is Castle Interior, I guess. I guess we're a doctor, yeah. Cool barbarian. I like him. The Executioner. Cool, cool, uh, ghost. cool ghost. Zombie. Uh, guy who's, yeah, I won't leave him be. Well, the bones of a good gamer here. Fat Bobby got good bones. Fat Bobby, you know, if you want to do He'll a tell flip. you he's big boned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, and that's all the levels. Okay, well. Fat Bobby, Fat unfortunately Bobby. we cannot rank you, but, uh, that does, that you're still a part of Link's history. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here's something curious, though. 
the completed version of Fat Bobby has not been dumped. I can tell you what has been dumped, though. What? Uh, it was fucking one of these. Is it fucking... Uh, I was in one of these. God damn it. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at these great names. Oh, yeah, the proto rom dump. Here we go. Here we go. There was a game called Ninja Nerd that was dumped. Okay. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Okay. Lore Games. Same developer as Fat Bobby. Similar title screen, similar backgrounds. And hey, well, 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 look who it's it is. Cheat me! <laughs> this nerd's had enough of your bullshit. Cheat Man has a gun! <laughs> this is what the A button does. Oh, I see you hold the A button and you do various nerds at nerd attacks. The B button just... You pull out a gun. You can't fire it, you just pull it out. So, we know the origins of Fat Bobby. He was once a... Ninja... Nerd. Um... What is any of this? Is this, like, the post-apocalypse that Fat Bobby went through? Maybe. Maybe this is the world after the events of Fat Bobby. I really like the scrolling... <gasps> Dude! Dude! This is Amagon! You, you, push, you push the option one button, and you become Mega Nerd. No, wait, first you become like this guy, and then you become Mega Nerd. It's like Altered Beast, but for nerds. It's Altered Nerd. There's a guy playing a lynx. I like that guy. Give me that lynx. No! Okay, I like Give me the that man. present. Is that a baby? I thought she was holding a baby and the man on the floor is crying, but I think he's actually playing jacks or something. Give me that toy. <laughs> oh, he melted. He's like, goodbye. Up his jump, apparently. I wish you could shoot these guys. You can't really do much of anything. I Coffee? do like the I like the background characters. There's a nice vibrant community in this game. Yeah, I like this. This does have Dosh Shareware energy, but it looks nicer than a lot of Dosh Shareware, you know? So this is where the trail runs cold. The uh, mm -hmm. Retro Pals Discord was able to find the prototype for Ninja Nerd. Unfortunately, could not find the finished version of Fat Bobby. The second that happens, we'll be here on Mascot Friday to tell you how it ranks. We'll have an emergency mascot like Tuesday or yeah, something. Yeah, we, we got to do comes. an emergency meeting like we did for Gex Jr. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Been a while since we've had a, a mascot emergency. Folks, start dumping those protos. Or just dumping in general. I That's that's Fat Bobby. Whoa, you see that guy? <laughs> This is me. I'm constantly morphing between my I was going forms. to say, oh my god. Okay, here's this level. I'll be a uh, medium Bobby. Okay. You've got sunglasses and cool hair, but you know, your pants are still on. He's not splaying when he goes down as much. Yeah, he does a nice little uh, bow-legged crouch. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit better. <laughs> His okay. hair's blown back. <laughs> What about the nerd? What happens when he goes crouching? He, yeah. Oh, I love that. I really wish you could fire. Look at me. All my different personas have a machine gun. <laughs> is this what Persona 3 is? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone enjoying that remake? That came out today. Oh, yeah. I, Alex, I've decided I want that for my birthday. I told you I wanted a paper shredder, but yeah. I want but I want Persona three more. Okay, cool. That 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 makes my life easy. I'll okay. Now it's Shadow of the Beast. This is Ultra First Prime to me. What a strange world it is we've entered. I had no idea this entire fat Bobby controversy even existed. And now here we are. Knee deep in it. We've involved ourselves. Look, there's eventually a... Hey, look at this! Hey, boiling oil! All right, we finally have confirmation the two games are linked. 
Uh, there was discussion among Atari fans being like, this doesn't look anything like Fat Bobby. The games are completely unrelated. You're stupid if you think so. Well, look who's stupid now. Me. You're not stupid, honey. <laughs> I've discovered the link between Fat Bobby and Ninja Nerd. And the game has crashed. Hooray! Okay. All right. So, why don't we get on with the first game we can actually rank, a game that I do know actually got released at retail. Some of you may even actually have played this, because this was one of the more common Lynx games out there. If not, you may have seen this on uh, Cuso Grande, but don't let that influence your opinion. We have to rank this. It's Gordo 106, the mutated lab monkey. <laughs> Here you go, Alex. Oh, I forgot. almost forgot to do this, but I'm actually going to shout out Adam Admar here. I got the idea for this stream from him. He was playing a whole bunch of Atari Lynx games. Highly recommend following Adam. The last week, he's done a bunch of, like, light gun games with an actual light gun, and uh, he's doing, like, a history of pinball games, too. <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits uh, scratching way for treats for Gordo, and thank you, Cinco Player, for the 100 bits. I already got more entertainment than I've ever gotten from Lynx. Drew. <laughs> That's just one game. we got a whole library to explore. Deep in the bowels of inhuman ink, trapped in Cage 106, Gordo, a poor, brutally exploited lab monkey, lives a life of lonely misery. Until an experimental nuclear potion gives Gordo 106 the cunning intellect he needs to free his friends and escape. Okay. So it's like a uh, bingo. It is like bingo. Just like bingo. Look at him go! So back in the 90s, there was this controversy about, uh, pharmaceutical and uh, cosmetic companies using animal testing. Especially cosmetic companies. And uh, we stopped hearing about it, so I guess it doesn't happen at all anymore. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, Gordo. Gordo can't jump and shoot. That sucks. He's a mutated lab monkey. You can only do one or the other. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Well... Yeah, I... inhuman ink. There's your subtlety. Oh, you fun. freed a rabbit! Mm -hmm. Good for you! There's a banana under the table. Yeah, but there looks like there's a pit over there, so I don't have this way. I don't trust that pit. This walked so Ape Out could run. <laughs> this is basically Ape Out uh, prototype. Yeah, Whiplash! I was thinking of Whiplash, too. Oh, Whiplash! Yeah! That game got a really crazy run at GDQ this year. The guy finished it in like 40 minutes, even though that's really? a several hours long game. Yeah. He also very enthusiastically recommended it, so apparently that game is pretty well loved. Mm hmm, that no, Whiplash is pretty well liked, I remember. We freed a Banui. We're freeing multiple Banuis. Get out of my way. There you go. I feel bad, this isn't great, but man, after Fat Bobby. Yeah, at least he doesn't do that thing where he has to do a handstand. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like the victory pose. Mm -hmm. You have a banana meter? Of course, cosmetic testing. Mm -hmm. What was the big deal? They just wanted to make the animals beautiful. Don't you want to be beautiful? I just... Hey. Hey, who... There's oh. an army of men up there. Oh, not anymore. Well, uh, they disappeared. Okay. okay, don't worry about it. No! No! Uh, I got... You got put in the animal shredder! What is that possibly testing? Mascara? <laughs> Why do they have an animal shredder? That way. Yeah, you liking this frame rate? This would look better on a smaller... Whoa, team of nerds. It would look better on a smaller screen, especially the Lynx's backlit screen, mm -hmm. but... Uh... Blown up like this does it no favors. Oh, is he one of those smoking monkeys? Can you get a cigarette power up? Oh, man. I can't even die. It's kind of like the pig nightmare of Virtual Bart. It is. It really is. Including the uh, going into machines and getting shredded part. Yeah, I don't like that. Whoa! 
Oh, okay. Dungeon alternate level exit? Ah, skeletonized. I got... Yeah, okay. This game's depressing. <laughs> you ever play games where just, like, the theming is just a little bit too, uh... Too real and just kind of depressing if you think about it? Thank you to find Optimus for the 100, bitch. You get a cigarette power-up, but only if you're playing this on the Marlboro brand of Link. So, yeah! <laughs> So far, this seems coherent, if not especially good it's... or anything you'd want to play. Yeah. Thank you, Spartanberry 56 month resub. This would look better on a smaller team of nerds, agree. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what I said. Mm -hmm. Anyone else want to be freed? Y'all good? You good? I gotta say, though, Lynx was some hot shit back then. It made the, the Game Boy look like crap. It sure did. It was a 16-bit system, it had graphics that looked like this, and it came out just, like, around the same time as the Game Boy. It's just because of internal infighting, as usual, an Atari product failed, somehow. I think the story was that uh, Jack Trammell gave Epix, the creator of this system, a really bum deal. So they were pretty much indebted to finish the system and meet milestones they couldn't possibly reach. Mm. And eventually they were so indebted they were forced to sell their entire uh, ownership of the Lynx property to Atari. That's so mean! So it was rushed to market, it was fucked from the beginning, and the people who made it don't get any recognition or uh, anything from it. The perfect Atari formula. I hate that. Back to the hell dungeon. Put you in a random place in the whole dungeon each time. Yeah, the designers eventually worked on the Amiga and 3DO. They knew what they were doing, it was just... The company was completely incompetent. Headed by the most nakedly evil person to be in video games, next to Doug Bowser. Keep getting poor Gordo skeletonized. It's fine. Gordo's fine. It's <laughs> Welcome to the Hell Dungeon, Magma Ram. We all belong here. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine that these platforms don't work. Yeah, it's fine too. <laughs> it's all great. It's all fine. Ah! What the <laughs> hell was that? What the hell was that? So so, hang on. When you when you drop down, does it does it, it take you to a random dungeon level? Yes. And some of them just dump lava on you. Yeah. That's awesome. No, it's not. Gordo actually kicks ass. You know, everybody's all about their Maso Core platformers. I guess it's my turn to play. Here's <laughs> Alex, is, Alex is washing his hands of this Take whole prospect. Oh, sorry, I need to hit the reset button because mm -hmm. that's a normal thing you need to do. Fucking Atari, I swear to God. You! Alright, it does suck. What's the 10th planet? Um. Bluto. <laughs> Scientists renamed it Brutus, and then declassified it as a planet. <laughs> Alright, another thing I want to point out about all these platformers we're going to play tonight. There is no standardization as to what the attack button is versus what the jump button is. Uh, Fat Bobby used A to jump and B to attack, a la Mario. Mm -hmm. This game is the reverse. It uses B to jump and A to attack. And from what I've played, testing these games before stream, it seems to be 50-50 as to... Which game uses which control scheme? Oh no. So that's pretty great. Just 
could have done so much more with this system. They really could have. And instead, what we ended up with was Kung Fu and Gordo 106. Oh, what's wrong with Gordo? It's so good. Sorry, I shouldn't have Play our depressing worse. game about a lab monkey, yeah. You get put in the monkey shredder and go to hell. I'm gonna go in the monkey shredder. No! They say there's a surprise in there. Oh, I see. Yeah, those platforms are kind of impossible to jump on. Mm hmm, mm hmm. It's like open ended levels. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's cool. Neat. I'm gonna land on this platform. <laughs> this is the last thing I do. You can't. You just no. You just can't. How did you do it that first time? I don't know how I got into the animal shredder. You could go deeper. There's a second sub hell. Oh, people who worked on Diablo worked on this? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's a very clear uh, development through line. Ah! Yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> Did they intend to make a, a fun game with this, or just... <laughs> you, can't, you can't do it. There's no, there's no recourse. You just die. No. You just fucking die. It's fine, Gordo. Don't worry about it. Grab the banana. And jump up. Am I missing a platform here? No, I don't think you are. Banana meter seems this, fine. This game is rancid. This game sucks. Yeah, the furries are turning against it. Like, Farewell, nerds. Uh, that's what they get for being nerds. Gordo's like, no smoking? I thought this was hell before. <laughs> Sorry, I'd love to read a comic about a lab monkey who's trying to quit smoking. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> There's a run. I like the run. Does he jump higher with the run? Oh, maybe. No. No, no he does not. <laughs> it's the shittiest game I've ever played in my life. Yeah, the Lynx games do have a depressing vibe to them, and I respect it in a way. They have that depressing vibe even before you add in uh, the whole animal testing element. I don't know why they did that. I don't know how I got up there. Good for me for somehow doing it, though. Yeah, like... I, that was dead yeah, on. Yeah, those platforms don't mean anything. They are... The platforms don't mean anything, and the points... don't matter. You die. Is this a shit post? Monkey die. This, this was retail. People paid money for this. This monkey's gone to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hey. made it! Yeah, when you get up too high, if you jump, yeah, you'll if hit you try your to, head. if you yeah. try to do that, you just hit your head. Here, buddy, enjoy some cigarettes. Delicious. Oh, you just, you just can't jump here. Well, freaking nerds! They're the ones who ruined the Atari Lynx. Nerds, get out of here! There you go. Music, man. What do you what do you bet there's a monkey shredder over here? Yep, totally. Rip Don't that get guy. Shredded. Off. Oh, it gives them nice little hairstyles. Okay, that's that. pretty funny. Evil. The 
the run is not a double tap. You have to already be be running, and then you quickly tap in the other direction. Alex is getting pissed off on my behalf. I remember seeing this on shelves when I got my Atari Lynx. It was being uh, discontinued at the time. They bundled it in with ten games, and they were they they sold it for like eighty bucks. I had it for two days, and uh, then I returned it to the store. <laughs> Like, even as a kid who appreciates weird and bad games, this is too much for me. I also got a copy of Double Dragon at the time, which is apparently incredibly rare nowadays, but I just returned that to the store, too. There's like, fuck it. It wasn't worth it. Alright, being able to ice a group of nerds with, a, with an apple is pretty good. I like That's that part. That's pretty good. Listen, we all want the Marlboro Links, me included, but I I don't think it's available anywhere now. Oh man, evil game oh, for so evil close. people. I'm gonna beat this level. Eh? It took me to a bonus level. Free them, free them all. Okay. Free them all. I wish this game was better. Gordo deserves better. Gordo does deserve better. So does Gordy, the talking pig who made it big. We're all just profiting on the, the horrors he lived through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's Us kind of... making content from it. Yeah, horrific. we're like true crime podcasters or something, but with uh, monkey torture. Yeah. That's not, that's not fair. Hey, an exit! Dungeon complete! Level H8? Hell 8, baby. Who wants to explain the level structure of Gordo 106 to me? Uh, don't worry about it. I am a little worried about it. Okay, well, you know. We <laughs> could just go back to level two. Maybe this game reflects on the uh, unending cycle of life and death. You know, just last night I finished Zero Ranger, and this is basically the same thing. Okay. I know where I failed. I just gotta make one jump. But it's on a conveyor belt. And, uh... This game is what you call bad, so <laughs> things don't often work as they should. Thank you, Room Temperature, for the 30 bits. Hell 8, Hell 8, Father. Here I am, Monkey Gordo. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Oh, this'll make it. All right, all right, we have progress. We do. You know what they say, nerds. progress is progress. Look. Holy shit, Danny. You, fa you succeeded where I failed. Have you seen such a beautiful thing in your life before? Beautiful. You deserve those you did it. Level 1-2. Solved by you. Level 1-2, which is uh, after H8. I'd appreciate the real creativity and environments here. Never mind. Oh boy, dungeon time! So even if you do do these, your reward is having to repeat the previous level from the beginning. It's literally better to die. Unless you care about doing a deathless run of Gordo 106. Who? Who? There's Who? some sickos out there. Thank you, Carmen, for the 100 bits. More fun than a barrel of monkeys. Oh, boo, thank you. <laughs> you know if you wanted to trick someone? You would be like, uh, hey, you should do a stream theme of just playing all monkey games. You know, you could just play Donkey Kong Country. Those games are great. And then, haha, fucker, you have to play Gordo 106. You gotta beat that shit, too. Monkey Mondays, exactly, exactly. This dungeon... Oh, oh, did you see the exit? Yeah. Go, 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 go. Sick H3 beaten. All right, that was level H3. 
it's so weird they send you into a random hell level every time you fall in a pit. It's not even mapped to, like, a specific part of the level that you fall in a, a hole in. Monkey Media Monday. Thank you, Carmen, for the bits. Eddie Gordo from Tekken's favorite game. I wish I was playing t Oh my god! I like the big needle. Inject me with that. <laughs> that person was huge! Is that a boss? I gotta find out. This better not be my last life. I'm sorry, huh? I bet you it is, though. Yeah, the piss syringe. The piss needle. You missed the piss. I wanna be injected by a giant woman on the Atari Lynx. Yeah, it's fine. Why don't you just do that? Get injected by a giant woman on the wings. He didn't grab. Yeah, he does kind of wiggle his arms like Grover. Speaking of Muppets, the Muppets have been in the news lately. First, Big Bird got small. Did you hear about that? Yeah, and then Elmo didn't even give a shit, and everyone yelled at Elmo. <laughs> Fuck. I'm never going to get injected by a giant woman on the links. I'm sorry, honey. Well, uh, as I reset and attempt this again, this is a show where we rank all the platformers we play against Bubsy Claws Encounters of the Third Kind for the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. As is tradition, if you think Gordo 106 is better than Bubsy, give us an RP Angel Bubsy. If you think it's worse, give us an RP Devil Bubsy. Let's see what this is looking like. There's also, yeah, you can also give RP Bubsy option if you feel no, uh, no feelings either way. So, Alex, what's this one looking like? Uh, they're looking like a lot of devils. Yeah, this one's pretty devilish. Uh, it plays bad, it controls bad, and it has that depressing factor I've mentioned before, where, like, a game can be so bad or thematically disturbing that you just end up feeling worse for having played it instead of better. That's something that, uh, say, Family Dog has, the, it exudes that feeling. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the very worst games on our list have that feeling, so... Even if this isn't technically the worst game, it makes me feel so bad. I just never want to think about it, <laughs> much less play it. Well, then I'm going down on the list, and I'm looking to see what I didn't like as much as this. I, I don't, I don't think this is bottom ten, but it could just be, it could be very close. What's, what's in our bottom ten? Oh boy. Bottom ten at the bottom, Back to the Future Part Two and Three. Darkwing Duck, No Rules, Get Fat, Transformers, Convoy, No Nazo, Scunny, Save Our Pizza, Ugh. Family Dog, Instruments of Chaos, starring Young Indiana Jones, The Run and Stimpy Show, Buckaroos, and Fantasia, Miracle, Robots, and 2100, and of course, Top Banana. Well, good news, Gordo. I think you're better than all of those. Uh, anyone got an idea of where we should put this in the current list, as you see on your screen? I'm thinking not top, not bottom 10, but maybe bottom 30, bottom 20. Okay, is this, is this, would you rather play this or Hardhead 2? Hardhead 2. Okay. <laughs> like, for real. This is Wayne's World level. Wayne's World is pretty bad. Wayne's World's above Hardhead 2, so let's go a little bit lower then. How about Virtual Bart? Another depressing game. Oh, that's a great way to compare this. <clears throat> Folks, what would you rather play, Gordo 106 or Virtual Bart? Both have uh, animal testing themed levels. And Bart gets turned into a, a country ham. I think... It's kind of mixed. It's actually kind of half and half. It's, it's kind of hard to say, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think by virtue of just having more mini games instead of just this one depressing part, Virtual Bart is better. I think you're right. So, below Virtual Bart, above Cool World. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that's... Gordo! One. One. Oh, six. Good old Gordo. The platforming star of the Atari Lynx. It's not gonna get any better from this, is it? <laughs> we're, we're in for a, a heap of trouble tonight. Looks like the nerds won. They Congrats, get to, nerds! You won! You get to keep your lab monkey. I hope you're happy. Let's play a game that I don't actually know what it is, but I do know it's a platformer. Let's play Power Factor. Handmade software. Wow. They knitted this. Oh my god! Look at this! 
It's the Atari and Leisure mo Moon. Do you want to go to the Atari Leisure Moon? Remember the Atari hotels were going to be built? Yeah. I wish that kind of happened. That would have been really dumb. What's with this title screen? He's killing the employees. Shows what he thinks of the staff. Let's do it. Okay. So, anyone know what this is? Uh, because I sure don't. Can you push the X button or the square button? Oh, the X button takes you here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the game has no music. That's a good start. Usually one of the option buttons turns the music on or off, but some games just don't have music. To me, this is looking a little bit like uh, Duke Nukem, the, the 2D side-scrolling ones. There's a difference, though. See if you can find what it is. It controls... Oh, hey! You have a freaking jetpack. I discovered that when testing this one out. in an Adidas tracksuit. He is. <laughs> He's on a jog. Ow. Ow. Ow! He has sleeves. He can fly. Wait, they did have a music credit. Maybe it's just for uh, interstitial music. Because I tried to make the music work in this earlier and nothing doing. Multiple people asking if he could stretch up high. I don't think so. He, he can he can fly. But he can't ride and he can't stretch up high. So he's no James Bond. He really isn't as good as James Bond. A couple weeks ago, Atari said they're still in talks to acquire hotels in Vegas. You may want to turn this down. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so... Okay, I guess they're gonna go in Vegas. That's cool. Hotels... Uh, Vegas needs more hotels. They don't have enough. That's right. It's a hotel desert. Yeah, Code Man. Usually it's option two, but option two brings up a menu in this. So I think during the levels there's just no music. Something that would continue on the Atari Jaguar for some reason. Cool. You have fun? You lasted two minutes. Here's uh, the music. We found the music, folks. Uh, looks like to, to do it, you have to reset. Yeah. That's funny. It is. I don't know why they did that. Atari, that's why. We like games with huge pixels, and you can't start playing a game after you easy. lose. Mars does need moms. Mars needs MILFs. That's what that movie was about. Why wasn't it called that? I don't know because of Globe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't keep saying that. that's just me being stupid. Oh god, I'm being attacked by fire. I got fuel. I think easy mode is the way to go for this. Yeah, okay, bye. You do have a nice walk cycle. Conceivably, this could be pretty fun to play. I like the floatiness and the fact that you bump off of things. Kind of I like that a lot, too. I don't like these level layouts. They are confusing me. Yeah, why is it so maze-like? Why you gotta do that, power man? Power switch? Power... Power factor. Name? Power factor. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Good. Hey. Hey. Okay. Thank you. Danny. 
That's the best. These devs did Battlezone on the Lynx. I hear that that's supposed to be good. So maybe we're just not appreciating it. Maybe this game is a case of throwing pearls before swine. Yeah, I'm definitely a big old pig. Honk, honk. Give me your pearls. Honk. Pigs don't honk! Alex! What? You honked! Yeah. What's wrong with that? Oh, oh, pigs don't honk. Okay, yeah, because cause you know all the noises that pigs make. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, they go, and sometimes they go, they grumble. That, did you like know pigs? Are you like a, are you like a pig fanatic? I've known pigs. You've known some pigs? Did you know anybody with a pot-bellied pig during the pot-bellied pig craze? No, I didn't. Oh, I did. They smelled. I don't remember much about it. It was, just shockingly enough, someone we did community theater with, and... <laughs> They had a pig, and... It's community theater. They're going to have a pig or a ferret. Yeah, you're going to see one of those critters around. All, All right. right. I'm going to play this now. For Power Factor. Here we go. Power Factor. The way it was meant to be played. Yeah, I heard pot belly pigs are really nice. No, f sorry for saying they smell. I have a cat, so it's not like All I All animals smell is the secret. Yeah, animals just stink. You just got to get used to it if you're going to live with an animal. Which is great, because animals are great. Well, this game uses the A button to fire, but good news, instead of using the B button to jump, you push up to jump, which is even better. Was this an Amiga game by chance? This feels Amiga-y. It really has that feeling to it. This is totally something you drink Jolt Cola and play in the game. I ain't getting honked on. I ain't no Bobo. Quit <laughs> honking on me. We've already lamented that kids today don't know what honking on Bobo means, so I'm not going to retread the subject. I'm just saying, do your research. Go to a library, for God's sake. Yeah. I heard I... Finally, I got recommended an article on Firefox by Pocket that I was just like, good. It was about how Gen Z is getting into libraries. And I was like, good! Do it! Freaking do it! Go to the library and do your TikToks. <laughs> no, don't! No, it's okay! I don't care, I just... I just want the library to make mo to get like funding. So if they see all the teens at the library, they'll be like, "Oh, we got to give the library more money." I don't want to read books while a bunch of dopes are recording TikToks. This is why the Austin Central Library is so good. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on stream, but the Austin Central Library, their children and teens section is an entire floor. So uh, you don't actually, if you go to the library, you can just skip the kids and the teens. So they're all just like sequestered in one area. It's really great. That's a good idea, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can actually talk in a lot of libraries. And uh, the, 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 uh, the Austin Public Library, the central one, has two beautiful outdoor areas and an outdoor area just for teens and kids. So... Uh, you don't, uh, you don't have to worry about that, which is freaking great. Yeah, it's great. The teens are in their own area. There's even, like, a huge teen room for, like, a teen reading room for just teens. And so if you go to the Central Library, you're not going to have a bunch of teens, like, doing TikToks at you. They'll be doing it on the TikTok floor or whatever. <laughs> TikTok floor. They do have it, like, the, the, the Austin Central Library, they're like, you want to make zines? We have zines now. And it's just like, okay, cool. I know, but thank you. What do you do in this game? I don't know! That was my problem! That's why I gave it to you. I didn't want to keep playing. Anyone know what you do in this uh, this game? Because I'm, I'm kind of at a loss here. I've collected all the things to collect. You go in the doors? You go in this door? this friend or foe? It's foe. Okay. Watch out for the orb. 
Yeah, instead of a hype house, a hype library. God. But, but make sure they only have their own floor so you can just kind of walk around them. It actually is nice to just, like, take those stairs right past all those fucking loud-ass kids. Is every game for this console bad? That is a good question. I've been trying to disprove that. But so far the evidence is, uh, pretty damning. One fun thing is to, to crouch shoot, you have to hold down and push the shoot button. But if you tap down, you, you can do this. You tap down to aim upwards. Do you like that? I love it. You sound like you're having a good time. I'm having a great time. I love not being able to destroy these. Yeah, the Lynx had chips challenge, so that's, you know, something. It also had Clax, which, you know, Clax is fine. Yeah, you don't need the links for chips challenge now. You can get it on other systems. Like, uh, PC. Yeah, you can get it on Steam. Mm-hmm. Me Steam. Listen, I don't know what to say about Power Factor. I'm just gonna be quoting, like, D-list, uh, Peter Gabriel songs, okay? That was a number one hit, Alex. Okay, I'm sorry for saying Steam was a D-list. I like Peter Gabriel. I just think Steam is just a knockoff of Sledgehammer. Yeah. yeah. It really is. He just wanted to make Sledgehammer again because he got divorced. I bet you I go this way. I bet you I'm gonna get destroyed. Sorry for saying I hate this game. I just... There's just... This game is Alex Poison. It's a bit shite, mate. A bit I, shite! I know what to do now. Okay. I know where to go. Okay. It seems alright. There's a... There's an Atari Leisure Moon. You get a jetpack. <laughs> Fucking... I didn't... He automatically picked that! You fucker! I was trying to button mash through the intro and he was like, I'm gonna put it on normal mode. And you can eat shit. What's this guy's name, anyway? Does anyone have the manual? It's, uh, Mr. Power, I assume. Mr. Power. Chips Challenge just came out on Switch. Yeah, you don't have to use the links at all. Just throw... Throw your links into the garbage. Actually, throw it in my mouth and give it a chomp. Yeah, yeah, give it a chomp. I just... I'm sorry. I just think it would be just... Too many... Too many objects look delicious to me. That's true. It's a real problem. It is a problem. You know what else is a real problem? The this fact that there's a lot of, uh health pickups and items throughout this level, but if you die, you get sent back to the beginning of the level and the power-ups do not respawn. His <laughs> so, name is Red Ace. So it, all your subsequent runs through this level will be infinitely more difficult because of that. I just think that's fun. I just think video games are fun. You just like video games. What can I say? I'm a liker. Mm -hmm. You're an enjoyer. The opposite of a hater. Okay, this is the furthest we've gotten the level so far. Whoa. I like the rainbow. Were they on drugs? Were no. they? It was Atari, so probably. Yeah, I was gonna say, they were probably on some shit. This game... It's not nothing. It's something. But is it better than nothing? Like a mighty number nine. That remains to be seen. We we before the show, Danny was showing me the credits to Mighty Number Nine. Oh yeah, Digital Basic uh, just finished Mighty Number Nine, and they were uh, watching the credits, and they were trying to see how many games they could finish over the duration of Mighty Number Nine's credits. Well, well, well. Look who just beat level one. I am so proud of you. You did it. Well, Big what? banana. Huge bananas. What's with a big banana? I found you, my nemesis, Banana Man.
Yep. So, Banana Man, Banana Man. I think that was a superhero cartoon from Europe. Yeah. Okay, perhaps. Yes, Banana Man. Am I right, correct about Banana Man, uh, Europeans? Europeans, uh, right in. Started out as an Atari ST game by a company called Red Rat Software. Banana Man is UK. All right, I'm correct on something. Oh, I'm out of energy. So... <laughs> yeah, Banana Man is pretty un utterly unpleasant to look at. A lot of UK stuff is. I respect it. They never made the Banana Man movie they announced? I'm done. How dare they? So how's your banana lizard going? I don't Are you know. In hell? I think I'm in hell. I ran out of fuel, so I can't engage it on its level anymore. They should do a Netflix reboot of Banana Man where it takes the entire season for him to do a banana thing. <laughs> High K rate. Low K factor. Okay, maybe we need a high K rate. We need to find weapons with more potassium. Uh, mm, mm. Back to business. Yes, turn it down. No, turn it up. No. I like the Surf Dracula joke, so sue me. <laughs> I watch a lot of TV. Right now I'm watching some real crap called Evil Stepmothers. It's about evil stepmothers and it has the world's worst reenactments. You got exploded. Yeah. Yeah. What if I just what if I just go inside and use my cluster grenades? That do that, work. do that. Yeah, do you have to shoot the bananas back at it? Does that work? They, if you shoot the bananas, they explode. Oh, that's not good! Folks, is power factor for the Atari Lynx better or worse than Bubsy for the Super Nintendo and Genesis? Way in. End my suffering. Please help Danny. Devil, 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 devil. I think the question is going to be, is this better or worse than Gordo 106? This is better than Gordo 106. Okay. It doesn't fill me with dread and ennui in the way that that game does, but... Do it's... you think Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is better than this? No. I feel that the two maybe are pretty close, though. Okay, so we're in the area. Aw, you have a cat named Atari Lynx, Nick? That's wonderful. Aw. They changed their wizard list. Okay, in the long play, they killed the lizard in one shot by changing their weapons. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Both okay, them. here's me changing my weapon. Well, I don't think it works. <laughs> here's another weapon I can try. Well, too late. Power, power factor, huh? Power factor. Where are we ranking this? So, uh, you said it's better than Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Mm hmm. Really? Okay. Is it. Mm, we've got Christmas Crisis, The Rhymon, Outback Joey, Athena. Is it better than Athena? This is probably better than Athena. Go up a little more. You got Escape from Camp Deadly, Darkman, Action Pacio, Meet the Robinsons, Alumna Wedding Bell, Elf the Movie. Between Darkman and the other game that you said. Okay, uh, between Darkman and uh, Night of Living. And uh, Bart Simpson's uh, Escape from Camp Deadly. Okay, that sounds good. 
Chat, not good for you? We, we good with there? All miserable games, it fits right in. Okay, better than Camp Deadly, right above it. That was Power Factor. Woof. That's all I gotta say to that. Speaking of woof, our next game is Scrapyard Dog. Let's play Scrapyard Dog. We will. We featured this in our 7800 stream. And in fact, the uh, 7800 version is completely different, so we'll be ranking that one too. Oh, delightful. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. There he is. Now this game has mascot potential. You got a man, you got his dog. I like the dog. They live in a scrapyard, apparently. Mm -hmm. Scrapyard dog or crapyard dog. This is going to be a fun one. Here you go, Alex. Thank you. You so like the deluxe font paint? As you as you watch this, consider whether this is better than or worse than the 7800 version, which we're going to play briefly. Crank the tunes a bit. Starring Louie and Scraps. Did you skip the intro? Oh no, there it is. Goodbye, Scrapyard Dog. I've got the dog. Find us if you want to see him again, Mr. Big. Okay. Junkyard One. All right, Alex. Is A button jump or is B button jump? Uh, the circle is jump. Oh, okay, so they did it right. Yo, good game. They had a gay Latin leathers, leather, so good <laughs> you game. You shrunk the leather rat. Yeah, okay, this is fantastic. There are people who would love to be shrunken leather rats. No trespassing. Those are leather rats. They're wearing the little caps the little and everything. Little hats and everything, yeah. I just want to say, this beats the other games we've played, like, out by a country mile. Yeah, it's very queer-friendly. It's just fun. In, com in comparison to Power Factor, which pissed me off. It's straightforward, at least. You go from left to right. You throw, uh, you throw stuff at the gay rats. I love the gay rats. I love the leather daddy rats. That's so good. That's an inspired choice. If the 7800 version doesn't have the Leather Daddy Rats, it's definitely worse. Whoa! Huh. I love that guy. I like the way enemies die in this. They just shrink into nothingness. Oh! They got tagged. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I have to... <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Thank you, K plays for the raid. Thank you. We are playing Scrapyard Dog. Let me shout you. Out. Thank you. I got. I Thank got. Thank you for eaten. the raid. Hope you had a good stream. What were yeah. you up to? We're playing Atari Lynx games. They're they're not good. We're on the we're on the hunt for a good Atari Lynx platformer. So far, this is the best one we've found. Scrapyard dog. Do not play Fat Bobby. Fat Bobby is a bad game. Crash. I like the dog a lot. Oh yeah, look up the cover for the Atari 7800 version of Scrapyard Dog. And then for fun, look up the Lynx cover of Scrapyard Dog, because they had two different covers. And uh, one was drawn by an actual artist. And the other was not. Let's see if you can tell which was which. Hey, you beat a level! I did! You it's... beat the first level without becoming confused or aggravated. Yeah, I'm actually not aggravated right now. I'm feeling pretty normal. My brain feels normal right now. I'm not used to that. Normal game feelings. Nice. Also, unlike the other games, it's got music. Playing an Aria of Sorrow hack that was crap at the end. That sucks. <laughs> Hope the rest was good, though. I've decided if I want to play Dawn of Sorrow, I definitely want to play the hack that gets rid of the uh, the touchscreen content, because yeah. that always kind of pissed me off. It's me, the angry, Yo, pissed-off gamer. Oh, God! I, I was looking at how cool that, that furry was, and I got killed. That's yeah, you got me. annihilated. I got really killed. 
But I made it to Junkyard, too. It's because of the gay rats. They inspire me. Oh, God, I did it again. I got too excited. Yeah, in the Discord, we uh, found out who the artist was for the, uh, oh, for the Lynx version of the cover art of this. And uh, they're an actual artist who does, like, greeting card art and stuff. Was unable to find the identity of 7800 uh, Scrapyard Dog, the artist. Do you want to keep playing, or? Uh, can I just play a little bit more? Sure, okay. go ahead. If you're having fun. Ooh. Whoa, you get shot! This, this fox cat guy steals him. Get shot. Yeah, you also, the game restarts normally. You don't have to reset the system. That's messed up. That's not how the Lynx does things. You're supposed to hard reset. It's part of the fun. I think it's only fun for, like, freaks. Which is fine. The Lynx is a freak system. How many of these companies made uh, games for the Lynx and then disappeared? There's a few of them. Uh, so far, we've seen a lot of names that I'm completely unfamiliar with. And yeah, I'm guessing they just made a couple of fucked up Lynx games and then disappeared. I'm fine. I didn't get just shot by a dog. It's true, there is scaling in this. The Lynx supported scaling at a hardware level. Or something. Okay, one rat dead. I think it was more like... The Lynx specifications were something like... It didn't really have a sprite limit so much as just like you could... Make any pixel display any color at any time, so you could just make games look however you wanted to. Something like that. Okay, here we go. No trespass. This is gay rat territory. We own this joint. I love them. I love them so much. The leather daddy rats are a real highlight. They are. And the I... gangster uh, animals are pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. So who kidnapped your dog? Was it another animal? Yeah. Is there a war between anthro and non-anthro animals? Y yes. Like, it's kind of fucked up that we exist and yet you still have pet dogs. You got a pet dog. You can't own a dog. We own ourselves. No, no dogs, no masters. <laughs> It's the whole uh, Pluto Goofy continuum. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just this game just feels more like a video game than the other games we played. It's so relaxing and refreshing, honestly. If anything, Fat Bobby tried to do too much. Oh, I got run over. You can duck into the dumpsters. You gotta try that. Okay, I gotta try that. I didn't know this had deadly premonition mechanics. You thought you could jump on top of that, didn't you? I've done that before, I swear. Yeah, this is like a 5-10 Masterson game, but it does feel like a steak dinner on the L links. A delicious steak dinner. This is so delicious, Danny. In the junkyard. Mm-hmm. That's like a Heathcliff date. Rip me. Rip me, last life. Okay. All right, Alex, make it count. Why are you getting money? I guess to pay for your dog's ransom. Yeah. And you need money. I think y'all are really gonna like 7800 Scrap Your Dog. Ah, God, I can't. Okay. All right, hand it over, Alex. All right. Let the expert step in. Why was that the funeral march? Is the dog dead? Yeah. Oh my God. Play this game or we shoot this dog. This game seems more game than several Lynx games, yeah. Yeah, jumping is on the A button, so automatically it's way more civilized. Again, not a guarantee you're gonna get a jump on the A button. Sorry, this game is just so good in comparison. Oh, this plays so normally, Alex. Isn't it great? Doesn't it not make your brain hurt? Yeah, you just go to the right and you throw stuff.
the feeling of playing a normal video game. That normal game feel. Okay. Duck into that trash can. Whoa! What? Pee pee. Y y yeah. Oh, I get it. No, I don't. Yeah, all dumpsters have pipe organs in them. That seems hard. Do. 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 Oh, I messed up. Well, I got one. That's nice. Back to the junkyard. You say you found an organ in a trash can once. Uh, uh, I'm assuming you mean the instrument and not like a liver. <laughs> Hey, free liver! Huh? You can push it up, apparently. You did it! You beat a level! How did that feel? It feels good. It feels like I'm... I'm playing video games again. Instead of just bizarre torture experiments. When I worked at GameStop, I think I mentioned before, what I found in the trash can in the dumpster was bees. Yeah. A lot of those summer bees. Maybe wasps, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I was running in, running out. You got, you got, uh... I got craned. You got craned. You know, I still don't think this is anything remarkable. I don't know if I would put this above Bubsy, but hmm. it's way closer than anything else we've played tonight, at the very least. Yeah. This is on Atari 50, why? Because the people, uh, screamed. <laughs> My grandparents found Atari 2600 in games next to a dumpster once. Cool. And gave it to me. Rachel, that's sick. Dumpster Atari. That's, like, authentic. There's so many... Atari games that have ended up in dumpsters and landfills. See about that guy? That guy's evil. Yeah, he takes two hits and he just charges you. Your attacks have kind of a weird bounciness to them. I assume they're aluminum cans. Nice, Jesus nice. Christ. You like him? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have enough money to buy it, honey. I don't. Not enough cash, bud. Gas, grass, or ass. No one rides for free. No. No. So... Okay. You just wait for it to go, yeah, I don't know. The one hit deaths I especially don't like in this. You're you're quite fragile in this game. Yeah. I know you just got your heart broken because your your dog got abducted, but you gotta pull it together, man. Toilet! I like the toilet. Can I sit on it? Look he's pissing. No he's not. <laughs> You got attacked, honey. <laughs> I got fucking murked. Surprise, blam! Hope you know that guy's there. Alright, after the office, you're gonna get fucking sniped by the, the rat mafia. I beat two levels of an Atari Lynx platformer. I feel like God. I do think I'm pretty tough. I feel like God. Can you get through the appliance area? I mean, probably not. 
They should make Beavis the new peeing Calvin. Who is that? I love the gangster over there. Sick. I like Kitty. the cat. It's gonna attack you, you know it is. It wouldn't attack me. It's just a friendly cat. You called it. <laughs> Folks! Get cat! Where would you rank Junk Scrapyard Dog on our big master list of platformers? Is it better than Bubsy? Is it worse than Bubsy? Let us know. I'm gonna say it's better than Power Factor, like, by a long shot. It is better than Power Factor. I'm gonna Angel say it's- Bubsy, Devil Bubsy, 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 Bubsy. Bubsy, 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 Bobcat. That's me. I'm Bubsy. That's a good Bubsy. A few angels, a bit below. I agree that it's... <clears throat> Excuse me. I agree it's a bit below. But... This I would be better with continues and not one-hit deaths, but overall it's pretty competent, especially for considering what we've been playing. I think... Okay, okay, okay. How about Arrow the Acrobat? Do you, would you rather play this or Arrow the Acrobat? Hmm, tough call, actually. Arrow, but barely. Okay. How about uh, Alfred Chicken on the Amiga? Woof, this is better than Alfred Chicken. <laughs> okay, so then how about this? Between Arrow the Acrobat and Alfred Chicken? Sounds good to me. Okay. Folks, you like that? Between Arrow and then, uh, Alfred Chicken? It's officially the... Chicken. It's official. This is the best Lynx platformer we've played so far. Way to go, Scrapyard Dog. And I'm actually going to switch cores here because we have a special treat. Scrapyard Dog was not just on the Atari Lynx, it was on the Atari 7800. Oh. We featured this briefly when we covered the uh, 7800 detail in detail during our uh, showcase episode. But let's rank it officially on our list of platformers. Specifically, let's uh, focus on whether this is better or worse than Scrapyard Dog on the Lynx. One of the very few 7800 games... You ready for this? Let's do it. What is this? It looks great. <laughs> well, they keep the leather daddy rats. Uh, your dude now has a drinking problem. And the background is much, 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 much less detailed. All right, let's... Got the dog. Go to the phone on the east end of the junkyard for further instructions. Be there on time. Alex, here you go. Oh, no. You were going to play Scrapyard Dog for the 7800. This is a home console game. This should better than, be better than a stinky old portable game. Your junkyard. Okay, triangle resets. Okay. Press triangle. <laughs> Well, the birds shit on you in this, whereas uh, in the other game they just uh, throw rocks. What's that? A rat. Yeah, but <laughs> it's in addition to the leather daddy rats. Don't worry about it. Thank you, yeah, October for the 100 bits. The Scrapyard Dog 7800 guy has a juiceable nose. <laughs> Thank you. So it keeps some things, like the... Um, Like the dumpsters you can dive into for a rhythm minigame. And in fact, this version makes it more obvious you can do that. I think if I can just trick it, you know what I mean? You gotta brute force this? Yeah. Sorry, too many errors for a bonus. Please replay tune and try again. The okay. guy is way too drunk to do this. Yeah, I don't know what I'm grabbing on my dog's leather rats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm out, of, I'm out of weapons. That's Junkyard Dave, always complaining about the leather daddy rats taking over his junkyard. So the other game gives you infinite... Uh, yeah, in this game it gives you limited ammo. It's like a, a very similar concept, just executed differently. 
quite strange, quite strange. Well, you found the strat. Just run. Just run and run and keep on running. Run, run, run. Hey! Where'd you go? I found a phone call. I mean, a phone booth. This seems to have Mario-style uh, momentum-based running, as opposed to the much more rigid controls of uh, the Lynx version. Mm -hmm. Whether or not that's a good thing, that's up to us to decide. You hit Fuck! Triangle, didn't you? <laughs> triangle being reset's unfair, right? <laughs> Just don't hit Triangle! But it's... Look at this! Look, okay, look at how my fingers sit! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Alex showed me his thumb uh, being placed over all four buttons at once. <laughs> I guess if you do it that way, it would be more difficult. Still got the one-hit deaths. Epic gamer moment. I'm being owned. That's fair. I'm fine. I'm not feeling mad at myself for failing this crappyard dog challenge. There we go. Stealing uh, defeat from the jaws of victory, I think, is how you phrase that. How did I do that? There, easy enough. Okay. Just don't hit the reset button. Guys, so big mad. nose to caveman's descendant. Thank, Thank you, you for the bits. Kane. What are your favorite video game heroes with huge schnozzes? Sound off in the comments. Who has really big noses in gaming? Of course, there is big nose the caveman. There is scrapyard dog the human. Um, can't think of many others offhand. Mario's got a normal nose. Sonic does. Yoshi's got a big nose. That's true, Yoshi is nothing but nose. He is a nose first character. Bump. Cubert, of course! Cubert wins! <laughs> he has a fucking cigarette this bad. That guy it continues you from world one level one. That guy that guy bought his links with Marlboro points. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Alex? Yeah, that was him. So that guy was also in the Lynx version, but he was he was at least a little more cleaned up. I mean, mm -hmm. he still lived in a junkyard, but... He had more of his dignity about him. He wasn't <laughs> drinking coffee and smoking a cigarette. Which is a delightful treat. Make no mistake, but... <laughs> you can't show that in a kid's game. Nintendo wouldn't allow that. No, they wouldn't. Nintendo would be like, you can't put cigarettes in this game. It's kind of weird how Mario has this squeaky clean image. He's never been shown smoking or drinking, unlike Fred Flintstone. Or Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Sonic there's, did all those drugs. There's official... <laughs> yeah. Scrap's fate undetermined. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. No wonder you got your dog stolen. Oh, yeah. Look, Alex, it's the Daily Beagle. 25 cents. That's not a bad price for a newspaper. That's what they used to cost back then. Daily editions. But some of y'all don't remember. Here's 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 a, a, a memory trapped in my brain. Yeah. Is when you would go to like a restaurant or somewhere and someone would have bought in a paper and left it there. So you can uh you can yeah. go and uh read the newspaper for free that way. Or when someone, this is something no one does anymore, when someone would buy a newspaper and they would leave it on the bus. Mm -hmm. No one does that anymore. It was so great. You'd be just like, no more well, free, free news. Yeah, I know. You would be able to get so many free newspapers if people just leave buying a newspaper and just leaving it around. It was just a natural way of people spreading the news, like how uh, people documented the secrets in Tower of Juraga. Exactly. <laughs> I did it. I beat level one. What do you think, Alex? If I was to ask you whether the Lynx or 7800 version of this is better, what would you say? Uh, I 
would say the other version doesn't make me as angry. Yeah, I don't like this game. This game they didn't put as much time or effort into and it really shows. It's, it's bad. It's kind of rancid. It's, it's real rancid. The rats aren't as gay, and that's the least of this game's problems. I didn't even see those basketballs! That is just kind of hard to make progress in general because ugh, you go so fast and it's one-hit deaths. And it takes you back to level one when you continue. Yeah! I don't feel yeah. much need to discuss this much further. Why don't we rank this one? Yeah, let's go. Why don't we just end the suffering early? You, you've seen enough of this, probably. Worse, so, folks. Worse than Atari Lynx version. We don't even need to... Let's, let's, uh, let's make it official. Is it Angel Bubsy or Devil Bubsy? And then we can discuss whether it's worse than Scrapyard Dog for Lynx. It is. That's the discussion. Lynx's version at least had some personality and color. This feels very drab, personality-free. Your guy has a huge nose, but that doesn't save things. Everything kills you. Double Bubsy for sure, says chat. Okay. All right. So I think we're in agreement the Lynx version is better than this. Why don't you pick a spot lower than that, and uh, we'll start from there. Would you rather play this or Cabbage Patch Kids Adventure in the Park? Much rather play Cabbage Patch Kids. All right. Would you rather play this or... Chester Cheetah, Too Cool the Fool? I'd rather play Chester Cheetah. Uh, would you rather play this or... Oh, my God. We're going to run for a King of Kings, Nickelodeon Guts, Aria Monsters. Those all seem pretty kick-ass to me compared to this. Okay. How about compared to Flimbo's Quest? Ooh, all right. Now we're getting into it. What's below Flimbo's Quest? Trolls in Crazy Land, Animorphs, Shattered Reality, Zool 2, Mr. Nuts, Tricky Cookie Games, Super Wagon Land 2. This is just below Mr. Nuts. You know what? I think so. Chat, you good with that? Just above uh, Tricky Cookie Games, just below Mr. Nuts? Yeah, in the dreaded Flimbo area. The dreaded Flimbo area. The Flimbo Zone. The I, don't, flimbo I don't like Flimbo's area. None of us do, honey. You can knock on doors? And they open? Hang on. Late breaking news. Okay. Ooh. Scrapyard dog can suck my nuts. So people are having a good time with this dog. What have I done? He went home. Oh, you died. <laughs> my home. Living with my dog. Scrapyard dog. No, no, I don't want money for booze. I just, I'm looking for my dog. I know my cartoonish nose would indicate I have <laughs> other things on my mind, but no, just looking for my dog. This guy again. Yeah! Do you cool. like that guy? Sorry, do you like that guy? I get a one-hit shield. It's over. <laughs> Alright, last attempt before we move on. Well, we've explored the duality that is Scrapyard Do Dog. Oh, what? it just... It forgot to appear. <laughs> it forgot to Thank spawn Thank you, Carmen, in. for the 100 bits. A dog of scrap yards. Yeah. Try the first street sewer. Oh, we're heading into the sewer! You love the sewer! Oh, it's a shame we ranked this before we got to the sewer level. Usually that's where games pick up. Yep. You know, I'm glad I got a 7800. I don't want to play Mario. Mario sucks. Mario does suck. I'm glad I got this rather than the NES. Mario's not rolling around in sewage. That's true. That's true. Let's go back to the Lynx. Okay. This gave me a new perspective. Like, the Lynx, pretty bad, but it's no 7800. Good lord. How many games have I played today where I just think about them and I go, woof? 
Well, definitely Scrapyard Dog, because, you know. Yeah, because of Dog. Yeah. Next, let's play Switchblade 2. Switchblade 2? Yeah, the second one. Why so many Switchblades? Ugh. Oh, wow! We, we got anime. <laughs> Gremlin Graphics presents Switchblade, the second. Let's go. Gremlin is... European Amiga developer, right? Is that the same Gremlin? I want to say yes. Did you hear that pickup noise? Whoop. Okay, this doesn't reset. Triangle does not reset, I repeat. Okay, good. What's the jump button? Is it circle? Yeah. Okay, so this game has the jump button the right side around. Seems to be a Strider-like on a much uh, smaller scale. There's a hamburger up there. Can you get it? Nice. Burgers give energy. They do in real life, too. I'm kind of probably going to eat a, a hamburger after tonight's stream. I got some of those frozen patties from H-E-B. Oh, nice. I was feeling fancy. Ooh. I get frozen hamburger patties, baby. You're not, you're not getting the, the no. Walmart big, big ass burger? <laughs> no ramen for me tonight. No, sir. <laughs> Alex, this seems shockingly playable to me. I'm having a pretty good time. This looks like a normal video game. I think this uh, this is better than Scrapyard Dog so far, and I think this might be best game of the night. Oh, God, maybe it not. It looks like you can take multiple hits. It looks like um, you can actually do damage to enemies. Can you climb up that? Oh, you can do a high jump. I learned how to do high jump, okay. You what press is it? up with jump. Okay. Makes sense. No, that's the thing. It's like all the. I, it's, I wish there was music, but you don't always get what you want in this world. Okay. Well done. Can you push uh, X? I'm afraid to. I'm afraid it'll reset the game. X does nothing. Okay, usually that's button that turns the music on or off. Jesus Christ! Well, you explode when you die. You hella exploded. This seems shockingly like, man. Do we have the first game that could give a bu could give Bubsy a run for his money? Mm-hmm. Why does Bubsy have money to begin with? Bubsy needed money. Of course, lawsuit. Yeah, and you start where you left off instead of at the beginning of the the first world in the the level. I got pizza. This is the Zool, guys? And this is the best game of the night? <laughs> that is so... That is so fucking dire. It is. That's where we are, huh? But I, I agree with this being the best one we've played so far. I'm is that a melee gonna... attack? Dude, sick. Yeah. Do you think this is the, uh, the scrapyard dog junkyard you're in? Just like uh, 200 years later? <laughs> yeah, let's just say it. Hey! You beat multiple levels on an Atari Lynx platformer. How does that feel? Good, I'm having a real... What the fuck? Whoa! Uh... That's a lot. You now have full energy. No, thank you. I don't need napalm. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't want it. I'm anti weapons of war. And yet I use a gun. Curious. It's a sort of like Scrapyard Dog in in many ways, just without the dog. It's got Scrapyard the, Ninja. It's got <laughs> yeah. It's got the inventory system. It has uh, money you can collect. Give me ammo. What do you suppose those little things that are around the level are? Those little pointy things? Uh, I thought they were weapon pickups, but I don't think so. Yeah, you would think. I guess they're just background elements. Whee! Whee! Boss time? Oh my god! Oh my yeah, god! Oh my boss, god! Right. 
You got him. I got it. Nice work. Danny, I'm having fun. This game kicks ass. Uh. Oh, no, you're in one of those vertical prisons. Oh, okay. What do they call those? An oblet or something? Someone knows what I'm talking about. I've never heard that term before. Yeah, it's like, instead of being a prison, it's just a hole in the ground, a deep hole that they put you in. Don't do that to me! Yeah. I don't want to be buried underground. That's like... Like a chimney you can't climb out of. Don't do that to me! I need that. Oubliette. That's what it is. I knew I wasn't crazy. Alex, let's start up an Oubliette uh, construction service. Can I think we it's not? time. I think it's time for him to make a comeback. What if I don't wanna? Some people, billionaires mostly, need more punishment than is currently uh, available to them. Okay, so you just want to listen. If you just told me your plan was to throw a billionaire in a hole, I would have been okay with it. Well, I didn't want to make it sound so simple. We have to. Yeah, we have to sexy it up for the investors. Hot dog. Cool. I like how stupid the items are that give you energy, like it's hot dogs and shit. It's good. I do like that. There's something to be said for recognizable health pickups, and it's just kind of whimsical to make them hot dogs. You can jump high. You can do melee attacks. I don't know where I'm going. You can't drive or fly, but you can jump up high. I just finished the level. Nice. <laughs> that was really easy. Leave it up to the Zool people to make a competent game for the Atari Lynx. Not something I would have expected to hear myself say at the start of the stream, but here we are. No, don't die! Okay, it's you just ex me. You just explode a little bit and then you're okay. I like that. No, no, no! Okay, I'm fine. No need to yell. No need to... It's fine, you're normal. I'm, I'm normal. You're normal. Normal is great. The first gender queer character ever. That's that's so untrue, but I, I like to say it. I get to say whatever I want because it's Twitch. Yeah. No oversight here. Okay. Try and stop us, FCC. Well, I really like Switchblade. That looked kind of awesome. I want to play it. Good. Enjoy. Enjoy Switchblade. Yeah, the, the jump is mapped correctly. That's a good start. The action is one-to-one. -one. You don't have some weird, silly momentum guiding you. You can take a lot of damage, too, which is nice. Mm -hmm. What's the jump thing? Not like up and jump? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's the thing! The controls make sense! And you don't randomly reset the game if you press the wrong button! <laughs> Sorry that that pisses me off, but... I think you should take your complaints up with me, because I mapped the buttons for these 78 Oh, hunters. wow. Okay, I see. But in all these other games, it's fine! Well, that was 7800. Okay, that's fair. 7800's, you know... Well, I just want to complain at Atari because okay, they're not building the hotel in Austin, so I have no reason to suck up to them. Because I would have loved a free room at the hotel, and I would have reviewed it very honestly. And guess what? I love hotels, so it would have been like a glowing review of even the most dog shit place. But no, Atari's not building a hotel in Austin. The way they handle the ammo is actually really nice. You have a decent amount of it. And the way it works is if you're close enough to an enemy to do a melee strike, you do that instead of wasting ammo. Very smart design. Very considered. Is that a pizza? Yeah. Delicious. Uh, the Atari Lynx had a backlit screen, so it wasn't as dark and blurry as other systems. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that blurry, right? It was a little blurry, okay, but you, okay. could, you could at least see it. Unlike Game Boy, where you had to be in specific light. Was the Lynx the system with, like... That was giant? Yes. Okay, and it would just, yeah. It was massive. Make no mistake. It was an ad for the Lynx where, like, a kid uh, went, to the, went to the bathroom in school and sat on a toilet and just pulled the Lynx out of his pants and was like, damn. He must have had some size 60 pants. To I was going to say, you got to have Jinkos for that. Yeah. 
What do you got for me? Let's let's buy that. Oh, okay. Toby Maguire was a kid in the bathroom in that ad. No, okay, that was Toby okay. Maguire. We got we got okay. Toby. <laughs> Holy shit! I got napalm. You guys, I'm playing a video game. It's for real. There's like challenge and like uh depth, <laughs> you know. And napalm? I that like was the, the scrapyard napalm. dog's problem. He didn't have napalm. You know, more dogs need access to napalm. All right, good luck with I'm the- I'm gonna uh... fucking toastify this guy. Watch out. There you go. Toastified. He's warm. I wasn't sure if we were gonna find any games that were better than Bubsy tonight, at least not without a huge stretch on my part, but this has the closest chance, I think. Some may still prefer Bubsy in some ways, but if you like character action games a la Castlevania, maybe you want to play this one. How much is extra dudes? Oh, that's a lot. Oof, that's a lot. <clears throat> Also, it's a little bit strider, just, uh, you know, superficially. I can mm -hmm. appreciate that, though. Yeah, you're the strider freak, so... I am the strider appreciator. Mm -hmm. That's fair. You're more of an appreciator than a freak. Oh, I'm a freak, all right. Oh, okay. Let me tell you how I became a freak. Doesn't it involve you, like, being dissected while you can still alive? Yeah, exactly. Cool. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't understand that... Watch, watch our, our VOD. Watch our VOD of How I Became a Freak for DVD mm -hmm. video. Damn, this shit is downright playable. Mm -hmm. I'm playing. I like this level because you can just, you just climb up. What's in here? Got their ass. You did it! Well done, hero. Thanks. They call me that because I'm the hero. Oh, uh... clever. Isn't it, though? Mm hmm. What would you like, hero? A little more health. Okay. Look, there's little secrets and alcoves and stuff. There's intrigue in this. The game makes you wonder what's over there. Is there something I could explore and find? Mm -hmm. Instead of, oh god, how soon can I turn this off and play something else? Could use music, but, you know. What are you gonna, what, what do you want from the links, you know? It's an acceptable loss, especially considering this is an Amiga developer. Over in Europe, where uh, they developed Amiga games, music wasn't invented until the uh, the late 80s, so they were still getting used to it. It was, as oh, they said, yeah, acceptable. Oh yeah, the Marlboro in the 80s. Adventure Team uh, thing with Marlboro Go on it. If I recall, that was just a pro prototype, and it was. Uh, I don't think it was given. I don't think you actually could uh, get one of those. But they were gonna make a Marlboro uh, Atari Lynx adventure team, so it's based on the... Uh... I think the Marlboro Go game was never released, but I want to say that the actual branded Lynxes were made. I think they must have been made in like a small batch, because I, like I said, the game is just the, you know, but, but the Marlboro Adventure Team Lynx, I... Okay, so here's the thing. My dad was a Marlboro smoker, so we had a lot of the Marlboro Adventure Team stuff, and we, I never saw the links in the catalog. Yeah, well, maybe. Because I would have grabbed it. Maybe maybe that wasn't a thing then. I think it was... That would have been smart, though, just smoke enough to buy a, a whole bunch of Atari Lynxes and sell them to collectors years later. Uh, it's called Aventure because it's a uh, German, I think? Because they were doing a big push in Austria as well at the time, so it could have been that, too. Over. Well, folks, 
Let's rank Switchblade 2. Where's this rank on our list? And first of all, is this better or worse than Bubsy? Let us know. Good question. If any Lynx game we played so far has a chance, it's this one. All right, I see Angel Bubsy. We're gonna need a plurality, though. All angels. Oh my god. Do you believe in miracles? The Atari Lynx has a game that's better than Bubsy? That's crazy to me. How could Just this happen? Just better than Bubsy is what most people are saying. Okay. Well, let's rank this, let's say, between 10 and 20 places above Bubsy. Just okay. not, we're not going to go too crazy, but this is quite playable and I would say more enjoyable than Bubsy. So better than Sesame Street County Cafe? I'd say so. Okay. But not as good as Astro Man on the Xbox. I kind of liked Astro Man, so no, yeah. Okay, that's Put a good it right place, there. Then. Okay, let's do it. Easily done. Thanks everybody for your input. We did it. There's a Lynx game that's better than Bubsy. I didn't. I honestly didn't think we'd find one. Now up next, we're gonna play a game I have high hopes for. It may not be rankable in terms of our uh, format or the limitations we we have on these games. It's a little bit open ended may not suit the whole uh, linearity aspect of our rankings. But we have to play Todd's Adventures in Slime World. We do! We do. It's unfortunate, but we do. Who is Todd? Why is he in Slime World? Does he come Does he come from Slime World? Or is he an invading species of Todd's? An invasive Todd, huh? All right, Alex, here you go. I'm gonna, All right. I will let the cat out for oh, you. Yeah. Hey, darling. Whoa. Oh, I like that. Nasty. Okay. Definitely an invasive Tom. Okay. Let's go. Shout out to all slime freaks, slime fans, slimes, slimes out there. Look at that slime animation. Let's see. Exploration. Let's do easy. Yeah, there's many different modes in this. Uh, some modes are more action-oriented, some are more exploration-oriented. Because, in fact, this game is a roguelike, believe it or not. This also came out on Genesis, but this is the uh, preferred version, as far as I can tell. This game also supports the Comlinks peripheral, and up to eight people can explore a slime maze together using linked uh, lynxes. Would you explore a slime maze with your friends? Yes. I would too. Oh, got him. Another thing I know about this game is that uh, all the slime that drips from the ceiling and comes off of enemies attaches to you, and you need to clean yourself off in these pools of water. That I remember. Yeah. Who has good things to say about Todd? Or bad things? I want to hear people's opinions on Todd and his adventures in Slime World. You don't often get to hear that perspective nowadays. Uh, that kind of conversation is actively suppressed on social media. Oh god, oh god, oh god! I died in the slime pit! Todd's Adventures in Ryan's World is a different game. That's good. <laughs> It's got some good, goopy-looking slime, I gotta say. Especially the, the slime waterfall there. Look at that. It's using some, like, pixel-bending effects or some shit. Uh-oh, Todd, you're looking a little green. May need to wash up. Nice. People like this game. They think it looks better with the limited color palette. I can agree with that. I like this game. It's got a distinctive look to it. Big, nice, chunky sprites that really uh, play to the Lynx's strengths. Plus, it's an Epix game. Epix was who designed the system in the first place, so they would know how to make a good one, you would think. How well I'm doing. Yeah, you're getting tons of slime gems. What do I do with these? Is it just like nice to have? It's, uh, it, you know, those Coinstar machines at HEB? They got one of those. Oh, okay. Is it not a platformer? I guess that's something we should discuss. There is jumping. There is a linearity to it. There is, like, a place you need to go to beat it. 
It looks like you're platforming. I'm. This is platforming. Look See, at I'm this platforming up. you're doing. It's just slime-based platforming. Go down. Yeah. So for our rules, you have to have a jump that takes you over pits, and it needs to be able to. Uh, you need to jump to progress to the levels. Like in beat 'em ups, you can jump, but it doesn't really matter to progression. This, it looks like there were some platforms up there, so I think this is rankable. Is this a strands type game? Yeah, it yeah. was way ahead of its time. Oh, I got slime. Like the twelve bit style in games like Mutant Muds. That's an interesting way of putting it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This does look like a halfway point between eight and sixteen bit. For what it's worth, I think the Lynx actually was sixteen bit. It just had various limitations. Oh, you got slime. I got generated. I need to Oh my god, you're more slime than man. I think you need to shoot those things. Yeah, I think so too. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. I appreciate this game's approach to grossness as opposed to Booger Man, which felt just. It felt exploitative. To Booger those, Man felt exploitative, huh? To the people who like gross things. Like, maybe I just want to live on a slime planet. I don't want to be flinging boogers fuck, everywhere. Fuck. I'm no freak. Um, I'm very heavily slime. I just want to be heavily covered in slime. What's wrong with that? Boogerman is not exploitation. It is. <laughs> Boogerman was trying too hard. This just has a natural Get, grossness. No, why? I'm fine. Don't tell people I was mad. Okay, I won't. Uh, sorry, we're in a calm link session, so all seven other people you're playing this with know oh, that you were mad. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm clean again. Oh. I feel so much better. Oh my god, Dan, you do not know how good it feels to wash after you've been slimed. <laughs> this has satisfying bathing mechanics. It really does. <laughs> not enough games you have a have a bathing mechanic. Alright, chat. Name all the games you can think of with a bathing mechanic. Bonus the points. Sims. Bonus points if it has an actual effect on gameplay. It does happen in The Sims, yeah. That does affect gameplay. Bubble bath, babes. It had no bathing in it, frankly. I know that firsthand. The room, the game. River City Ransom. That's a good answer. Mario Sunshine? You could shower Mario in Mario Sunshine? Sonic Adventure, when he was in the casino, he, he could go in the casino shower. Oh, could he? Okay. Deadly Premonition! True, true! This is my best game of Todd's Adventures in Slime World yet. Mother 3? Yeah, that's right. I do remember that part. That part was cool. Heavy Rain! You do, you do bathe a naked dude in that game. Stop dropping on me. I'm a nice man. I'm a nice slime man. I was about to say, is that a thing in Death Stranding? Maybe that's what we made me think of it. The, the bathing aspect. Oh yeah, you can bathe in Death Stranding, I recall. Can you bathe in Monster Energy? No. I was watching uh, Doro 3 play uh, Death Stranding, and I was struck by how the game encourages you not just to drink Monster Energy, but to drink every single can on the table available to you. I like the way he slams it. And he slams it. He slams like five in a row. <laughs> like, damn, dude, living your best life. And you got a baby attached to you? Mm. Wow. Yeah, you can shower in The Sims. Y you need to, I think. I don't think you can uh, roll or necessarily play with a, a stinky sim. They do need to bathe at some point. I can't believe oh, it's took... Bits Acid that instantly kills you! I what the hell? I can't believe they took the monster out of the director's cut. Supposedly it's been modded back in, though, correcting the mistake. Good. Did they take it out because they lost the license or something? I think they did. It's funny that they, they got the license in the first place. I thought you would think Monster would have paid to be in it, you know? Nintendogs, you do bathe the Nintendogs. That's true. 
shower with your dad simulator. Somehow that, that didn't that didn't come to mind, but that's the perfect game for this. All right, there's plenty of games where you can bathe. That's gonna be the next Retro Pals theme. We're gonna we're gonna play uh, nothing but games where you can bathe, <laughs> and then we'll never stream again. Pop. Uh. Are you sure? I did not mean to do that. Is there a death button? Yeah, it's it's it's. Maybe you can get yourself in unwinnable situations in this okay. game. Well, where the hell do I go? Further to the right, maybe? Okay, it looks like I could go down. Oh my god, I don't get any of this at all. Okay. Really? This doesn't go anywhere? Bullshit. Bullshit slime boy. You'll find your way. Uh, oh no, I don't trust slime man. You were born to explore slime world. That's true, I am Todd. No! Oh! Watching him slowly slink into the, the slime. He slunk in. No, it. no, no, no! Okay. Hidden passage. In safe distance. Pretty green, Todd. It's okay, I'm bathing. Good. A clean Todd is a happy Todd. Hey, there's a hidden passage up there. Uh, you've been enveloped in slime. I got, I got, I got slime death. So do I have infinite lives? I don't know. Slime world's place to be. Slime world in the slime city. Slime world, the slimy time. Slime world, this is a slime crime. <laughs> Sorry. Why didn't Todd's Adventures in Slime World take off? The, the world was ready for it. It was. Double liked... Dare was huge. We felt the need for a, a spin off show called Super Sloppy Double Dare. Yeah! The world was ready for slime. And yet, the world was not ready for Tom. Todd, excuse me. Tom's adventures in slime time. Oh my god, okay, where am I? Okay, just keep going right. Mm-hmm. Nope, nope! You got generated to fuck. I really did. Okay. No, no! Right into it! Why, Don? <laughs> I wonder Todd! how many people have played this over Todd, Tom you Link's. freak! Because as it's mentioned, you'd have to find seven other people with a Lynx to play this, and it doesn't seem too likely. Not back then, and certainly not nowadays. I, I have to say, Todd's jump is fucking garbage. Well, also, he can climb on walls, so he is pretty capable in terms of exploration. It's just... He's a little heavy. He's been slimed, you know. Okay. Todd. Todd. To okay, I got the super slime gem, so I'm Ooh, good. that erases all slime. Hey. Yeah. Alex, I think I like this game. I do too, is the problem. I think this is neat. The fact that it's a roguelike and... uh Shout for those. You can get different level layouts each time. There's different ways to play, like more action-oriented mazes as opposed to exploration. They put genuine thought into the design of this game and making it fun. Whoa. You're heading into slime mother brains territory. I guess so. Did you find the slime missiles? It's fine. There, I'm washed. <laughs> I'm clean man. Are all the slimes pissed off because you're carrying so much slime bait? I think so. It's a lot of slime dripping off you, Todd. It's fine. It's fine. Are you sure? It's fine. It's it's fine. Yeah, is it? See, it's fine. 
I'm de-slimed. I'm de-slimed in time. Glad we got you de-slimed. Alright, so Alex is gonna finish up with this game, but there's a few games, platformers for the links that technically qualify, but I'm not going to rank them because these games include Ninja Gaiden 3, Pac-Land, Rygar, Shadow of the Beast, Toki, and Xenophobe. What do all these games have in common? They're just stripped down, less good versions of, ex of existing games, mostly for our arcades. And I don't know if I want to rank those. Like, we've ranked games if they're significantly different across platforms, such as Scrapyard Dog. Bubsy 2, we also ranked the, uh, the Game Boy version, because that was so significantly worse than the others. But for games that just try to be replicating an existing game and failing in uninteresting ways, I don't think it's worth ranking those. Because some games have like 11 ports, 11, 11 or 12 ports for like the ZX Spectrum and Amstrad CPC. The list, I think, would suffer greatly if we included every single one of those. I could be wrong though, what do y'all think about it? I think I like attacking with my Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I played no! I played Rygar Links last night, BBH. That is some rough shit. They got rid of so much. It's barely the same game. Yeah, if we rank uh, Rygar, it will definitely be the arcade version, not the stripped down links port. Please, please, Todd! Oh! It was a good thing. You found the cleansing room. Oh, I sure did. Okay, well, I take it back. Todd, you can do that all you want, honey. And Bill Bull, I know you want to see the Spectrum ports. Having recently played Bart vs. the Space Mutants for the Spectrum. That's nightmare. I didn't even know that existed, but Bill Bull put several hours into it. Okay, get out of here. Can I get out of here? Oh, I need to pick that up. Okay. That's true, Sonic 2 got separate ratings for Game, for game Gear and SMS. I think I'm going to decide on a case-by-case -case basis, depending on whether the, the games are different or interesting enough to, worth, Bad game. to be worth ranking. Bad game! Fail game for failures! Yeah? Todd, you... Thank you, Prince Hordeken, for gifting a sub to Savior Gabriel 81 Alex is having problems, but we I'm thank you for your sub. Fine. Thank you for the gift. I thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. Thank you. Yeah, actually different games like SMS and Game Gear Ninja Gaiden, and even in special cases like Sonic 2, I think are worth ranking, but do we really need to rank 11 different versions of Bart versus the Space Mutants when the original is not good? <laughs> some people might say yes. Some people might want to see us suffer and make a comprehensive list, but... For now, maybe I think I'll focus on, like, the original versions of games, or just ports that are interestingly different on their own merits. Todd? Todd, where's the... Yeah, I couldn't believe Bart vs. the Space Mutants on Spectrum, like... I'm shocked that they even tried in the first place. Tools are ruined! Wait, have I been here? Maybe. Well, do you want to play? I've been playing for way too long. I'll play. I was waiting to die. Let me play Todd. Okay. I'm going to play Todd. Todd time. It's Todd time. Oh, yeah. It's Todd time. How do you access your map? Uh. There you I go. see. Oh, thank God for Super Slime Gems. Thank God. Yeah, the, the traversal in this, I think, is interesting. The jumping is kind of strange, but you can latch onto walls, making him much more capable of uh, climbing around these environments than you might think. Mm. Call me crazy, but this reminds me a little bit of Fire Rock. <laughs> a game okay, that's I can see that. Recently been going around the, the VTuber circuit here on Twitch. It's also got unconventional controls that revolve around climbing. Uh, there's not much slime in that game, I'll give you that much. But... That's a shame. They need to do a fire rock with slime. Slime rock. 
All right, here's a problem. To switch through your weapons, you push option one, and to use the weapon, you push option two. Okay, hey, Tessie. Girl. She just literally... And one of these options is pop, which, if you pick it with the other button and you don't know how the controls work, you just instantly die. Tess, I'm gonna pick you up and put you by the mic if you keep being so silly. Tess, I'm gonna pick you up and put you down. Alright, let's climb up here. Up we go. I like this. This game is genuinely interesting, and it kind of plays is. well. Plays to the Lynx's strengths. It's all nice and goopy looking. Book a visit to Slime World today. Book a visit! I can't put Tess on the mic because she is... She is not wanting it. I, I went to give her a little gentle pickup, and she was just like, absolutely not. She's very smart. If you want to pick her up, she knows. Mm -hmm. She literally does. She's she's just psychic. Like it. It's a it's a big problem when you need to clip her toenails. Oh yeah. Her claws, I guess. Not toenails. I guess claws are typically cat's toenails. I'm going backwards. I think. Actually, I don't think I'm going to make much more progress than you haven't made, so why don't we get to the ranking of this? Okay. Folks, is Todd's Adventures in Slime World for the Lynx better or worse than Bubsy? Angel Bubsy, Angel Bubsy, Bubsy, Angel Bubsy, Angel Bubsy, okay! Yeah, I, I quite like this. This is very creative. It's maybe a little bit unconventional in terms of what you might consider a platformer, but... I think it fits the bill. It gives you that good platformer feeling with bonus slime. And who doesn't like bonus slime? Not me. I love slime. You're a slime freak? Alright, how about... Is it better than Switchblade 2? Folks, what do we think? Is it better than Switchblade 2? The other best Lynx game we've played today. That's a thinker, actually. I really wonder. Better, 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 better. All right, better. there it goes. Todd, it's it's better it's better than Switchblade. I don't think it's better than Johnny Platform's Biscuit Romp, though. You don't? I think it's between Astro Man and Fuck. Johnny Platform's Biscuit Romp. I got fully slimed! Folks, what do we think about that? Although, why don't... Let me try this. Is it better or worse than Booker Man? Ooh, that's a good question. Another slime adjacent game. We better, 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 games. better. Okay. All right, well, folks, how about this? How about this? Let me, let me, let me give you a proposition here. Above Tempo Jr., below Animania. I think, think that's a good place. Can we live with ourselves if we do that? I think we should be able to. I'm living with myself all the time. Yeah, 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 I'll allow it. Okay. That's enough consensus for me, baby. Good. Todd's Adventures in Slime World. Officially the best platformer for the Lynx. Incredible. The odds were stacked against him, but... Never count out Touchdown Tom. Todd. UX Keeper, 27 months of Tier 2, officially the best platformer for the Lynx. Yep. That's official. Thank you, X, I appreciate it. Wish I could figure out how to get past these damn worms. There's just too Sorry many of them. The you can just keep killing them and they don't stop coming. Now, there the is... They don't stop coming and they don't start com stop coming. <laughs> sorry, I, I don't. Sorry. Sounds like you got slime on the brain. I do. Now, I did say this was going to be the best Atari Lynx platformer, but we do have one more game to rank. It is a little bit unfair to declare this automatically the best. Wow, you picked up Tess. How did she let you do that? Tess, what do you think of Todd's Adventures in Slime World? Give us your ranking. Tess, Tess come on! No, she doesn't I don't think she's going to perform. No. She hasn't been paid. So before we get to our last game, why don't I uh, show off some of the games that technically did count, but we're not going to rank for the reason I mentioned. Okay. They made Ninja Gaiden 3 for this, the NES game. They, they ported Ninja Gaiden the arcade game first, which kind of makes sense for the Lynx, but 
Then they ported three, just three, the, the, the NES game. And it looks like this. Okay. Now, Alex, if I were to if I were to tell you this is a port of an NES game, knowing this came from NES and knowing that the NES version had A for jump and B for attack. Yes. What would you say the jump button was on this? Up? It's B. Oh. <laughs> like it was already established in the original that A was jump. They fucked this up on purpose. They knew. Also, this is a very scrungly looking version of Ninja Gaiden Very 3. scrungly. If we're gonna rank this game, it's gonna be the NES version. You can see what I mean though, right? Like, this is an approximation of the NES game, but just not really worth ranking in terms of it, because it's plainly worse. We also have a port of Pac-Land, believe it or not. Which I think we've ranked before. The I'm pretty PC sure we've ranked Pac-Land. Yeah, the PC Engine version or the arcade game. But it's, it's on the links. You can play it on here if you want. This version even has the parallax scrolling. Oh, hey! The frame rate is inexcusably poor for Pac-Land, <laughs> if I'm being brutally honest here. Yeah, it's kind of bad. It's just Pac-Land, guys. Pac-Man got hit by a car. Also, unfortunately, on the Lynx is one of the very, very, very rare ports of Rygar, the arcade game. Arcade game didn't get many ports. One of them was on the X68000, the other was on the Lynx for some reason. And if you're familiar with the original arcade game, you gotta check out this shit. Now, Alex in arcades, this followed the uh, traditional formula of the A button, the right button being jump, and the left button being attack. What do you think it's like on this one? Up is jump. No, A is attack and B is jump. Oh, okay. <laughs> they got it backwards again. So, this simulates a little bit of what's from the arcade game. Some of the enemies are here. You can't do the up and attack thing, which is, like, incredibly important. But it kind of doesn't matter because half the enemies from the arcade game are just deleted. They're not here. A lot of the levels have been super simplified to the point where it's like, why even bother? This is barely the same game. And there's some platforming, but again, if I'm going to rank this, I'm going to rank the arcade game, not this extremely shoddy representation of what the, the arcade game was. This is the kind of thing where you can tell they didn't have the source code or anything. They were just playing by ear. Yeah. Like, yeah, it looks fine. Doesn't the, the sun give you the up attack? It didn't do that. Well, that's cool. Rygar, you can play it on Lynx, but I hope you don't. Yeah, I don't play Rygar on Lynx. Speaking of inexplicable ports, Shadow of the Beast... Excuse me. The freaking Amiga platformer somehow got a Lynx port. So let's go ahead and see. <laughs> let's see what this shit looks like. Digital developments. Do you like them? They sure did. I I don't like them. I don't know them. Okay. This guy's exclusive. I like him. What does he do? Cool. He fires a cannon at you. Neat. Graphics have been redrawn. You have a life bar instead of just uh, lives that you gradually lose. This weird jump kick. I guess they kept some aspects of the original game, but again, you're gonna want to play the Lynx, I mean the Amiga version, and not this extremely strange Lynx board. Sure. I have a ball. Lynx, the 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 beast found a ball. Oh, he can play soccer now. That's all he wanted. He just wanted to play footy. Well, good. We finally got a happy ending for the beast. Y'all, I don't know how to break this to you, but they made Toki for the Lynx. Uh... And weirdly enough, this is one of the best arcade ports for the system. It plays incredibly well, believe it or not. It has the authentic sound effects from the arcade game, even. Including some digitized ones. It plays nice and fast. Remember how... Uh, Shitty the frame rate was in Pac-Land? Yeah, it was bad. There's this uh, iconic hat. Toki die. So a lot of the experience actually transferred over to the Lynx version, more so than you would think, given just how bad Rygar was. So whoever ported Toki, they had their they had some love for, for the little ape man himself. 
They also kept something interesting in the continue screen. Check this out. Or rather, have a listen. Hey! That's just Daphne from that Dragon's Daphne. Lair. They just ripped that off. Welcome, Bitnancer. We're going through Atari Link's platformers. And another technically maybe not eligible, but platformer adjacent game that got ported to Link's is Xenophobe. Oh, Xenophobe! Oh, I shouldn't have skipped the intro. Hang on, you gotta see this shit. Okay. Yeah, we killed Daphne, whatever. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Holy shit. Like, damn, they, they, put, they put some thought into that. This game has amazing characters, including Mr. Ease. Everyone's favorite, Mr. Dr. Dr. Quack. Quack. Mr. Fog. You, you two are B-52, Colonel Truth, and apparently an unlockable alien. This is a weird game. I've never really understood anything about Xenophobe, the NES version or the arcade game. Mm -hmm. But this is a game where you can jump. See? You gotta clear out these space stations that are full of aliens. No relation to the famous Xenomorph. This is completely different. Okay. They had their own idea here. Please don't sue. Sure you should be calling a game Xenophobe? Yeah, well... They didn't care. They didn't get they sued. They certainly didn't. I mean... And another game that was mentioned that I might as well play briefly. Marlboro <laughs> Go! I've talked a lot about this before. This game does have jumping. It wasn't released, but... Uh... It's got the official Marlboro theme song. Insane that they made this. I it's completely it. insane that this exists. Probably the only official cigarette video game. Maybe. Like I don't think again. I I know that I can't think of any released cigarette games. And it has to be Atari, right? Like only Atari yeah. would make officially licensed cigarette games does have jumping in it. You could call it a platformer. We're not going to, but here it is. Was there... Okay, if you if you know of any cigarette games, let me know. I'm very curious. Yeah, like pro cigarette games, not the stop smoking games Yeah, for there's Super tons Nintendo. of top smoking games. We got a lot of that. So there you go. All the platformers we're not going to rank, and all the platformers we will rank. I've been beating around the bush because tonight's final game is uh -huh. Batman Returns. Oh, okay. Here you go, Alex. Batman returns, huh? He did. The Red Triangle Circus Gang. That's I want to join that gang. Oh, I'm big. Okay. Hey. Okay, I found it. Ooh, a triangle is jump. A triangle is attack. Mm-hmm. They got the controls backwards. I think, officially, after counting them tonight, there are more games that get the jump button backwards than games that get it correct. That is, if on an NES controller, they would put it on B instead of A. There's no that. standards. No one ever talked to each other. No one said, hey, Bob, that platformer you're working on, is A jump or B jump? And Bob's like, I don't know. Batman falls over a lot in this game. <laughs> this is mostly a beat-em-up, but it does have jumping, and the jumping is required in some sections, so that meets our criteria. You know what this game reminds me of? What? Really shitty Batman. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of a really shitty Batman in another way, in the fact that it's uh, really shitty. of these guys. You don't like getting run over? <laughs> the original uh, prototype title was Batman Gets Run Over a Lot by Clowns. Stop that! This has also appeared on Cuso Grande many, many times. This is a, a crowd favorite because of just how unplayable it is. But Alex is here to prove us wrong. He's gonna do a no-hit clear. Alright, it's still going. You haven't taken a hit yet. 
God, he's okay. Well, sorry, it's now, I, was it's, doing, I was doing good. It's been downgraded to a deathless clear now. It's fine. I really recommend uh, playing this game if you haven't. It is quite remarkably unplayable. <laughs> It doesn't really come across in gameplay video of other people playing it. It's just once you get your hands on it, you're like, oh god, I've made a mistake. Yeah. This game definitely has mistake vibes. Mm -hmm. This game is nothing but mistakes. Got a lot of fat clowns, though. Fat clowns. Do you think they know Fat Bobby? No. Yeah, if anyone... <laughs> to, to close out the stream on a, on a on a request, if anyone has the final commercial version of Fat Bobby for the Lynx, let me know because we need to rank that. We don't rank prototype versions of games. We have to have the final release candidates. What the fuck? Are they from the movie? The racist uh, <laughs> The racist girls. caricatures? Yeah. What are they, though? Treks. What, what the fuck? It's like, I guess it's Coachella or some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a bunch of white girls in headdresses. Yeah, or Burning Man or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Wanna give it another shot? I guess this will be my last try, yeah. All right, we're doing good. Yeah, this game has everything. Great platforming, racism. Those characters weren't even in the movie for sure. Yeah, I, I saw the movie recently. I don't remember them at all. We just put them in there because that's what they wanted. Yeah, Batman did fall over like Peter Griffin. Did I tell chat my amazing character actor discovery from Batman Returns recently? I mm -hmm. think I did. What? I was watching this recently on a Discord, uh -huh. and um, there's a scene where they try to rehabilitate the Penguin's image with a PR firm, and they introduce him to his PR guy, who is this nerdy guy with glasses, uh -huh. and, the, and the Penguin reaches up and bites his nose off, and the guy's like, oh, my nose! And he starts bleeding everywhere. And I never do this with actors in movies. Like, some people I know, they're all like, who is that? I gotta look up who that is. I was like that for the very first time with this person. Except I didn't need to look it up. I looked it up anyway just to confirm, but I knew it from the instant I saw it. That man was Wirehead from the Sega CD I'm game so Wirehead. I'm so happy about Wirehead. Also, thank you, Atari7800, for the raid. Oh, hey, thanks for the raid. Thank you. We played Scrapyard Dog for the 7800 yeah. <laughs> a few minutes ago. Hope you had a good one. We're ranking Lynx games. Uh, so far, our favorite platformers for the system are Todd's Adventures in Slime World and uh, Switchblade 2. That one was really good, too. And now we're playing Batman Returns, which may be even better. I'm playing this now. Yeah, good on Wirehead for getting that money. Yeah. I like to think that that's how he got the Wirehead credit. Like, wow, you know that guy who got his nose bitten off by the penguin? He's perfect. That was so awesome. I was I was freaking out all on my own. No one else in chat realized. Well, Lily buried Sam and was like, oh my god, that is Wirehead. <laughs> <laughs> so so she knows. She's a real one. This is a game where you constantly take damage and there's nothing much you can do about it. Clowns just run you over or punch you. The door's open, but you can't go in the buildings? It very weird touch. This very... is a strange game. You have batarangs. I'm gonna use those. There's also a spot in this level where if you don't know what to do, you take huge damage and there's nothing you can do about it. I was happy to see you uh, fall victim to that earlier because mm. that's a very common thing to happen to people playing this for the first time. Because you have to know that the, wi the building with the windows is going to explode when you walk in front of it. So you need to crouch in front of a mailbox to protect yourself. This game is 90% Batman being exploded by clowns. And 10% racism. Yeah. Yeah, Tracks. this building here, you have to crouch in front of the uh, this thing here. Hello? Is the building going to explode? Don't worry about it. There we go. That's how you do it. That sucks. If anyone was wondering why this game seemed impossible, that's why. That's what you gotta do. Fuck. Alright, looking good. Okay, you're doing much better than me. Good job. I was here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that Joker face! 
Do you like it? That's the best Joker I've ever seen in my life. That would be a really funny emote. Holy shit. It's the world's worst Joker. I was here. Now, hopefully I get to the really bad part of the game so I can give people more perspective on how they're going to rank this one. I have a feeling this isn't going to rank particularly well on our list. Not that we made much of a case for it in the first place. Mm -mm. I don't like that the monkey guys are, are killing me. I think that's from the movie, at least. The, uh, Oregon Grinders. Okay, maybe the Tomahawk Lady was removed because the Tomahawk Lady's in the comic book? Really? There she is! Well, maybe the comic book is based on the Lynx game. I don't know. I don't remember her at all, yeah. But oh, I haven't man. seen... Don't I've... kill me. Don't kill me before I get to the next level. I only saw Batman Returns in the, uh... I may have... Excuse me. I may have seen it again as an adult, but I did see it, uh... as a child in the movie theater. Yeah, I did too. Whoa! Never mind. This game's awesome. I like... I like how... How... I, I like the shape of Danny DeVito here. He's very well-shaped. Yeah. I'm hitting the duck. The duck is expressing damage. It has a it has a hurt expression on its face. Oh, it does! Yeah, Blombie DeVito. Damn. Okay, mm -hmm. I think my strategy is to save all my batarangs for the boss. Okay. So while I do that... Why don't we rank this fine piece of software? Folks, you've seen Batman Returns, the movie. Now you've seen it for the Atari Lynx. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is it better or worse than Bubsy? If you're new, give us an RP Angel Bubsy, or give us an RP Devil Bubsy, depending on your feelings. Trash, Devil Bubsy, Devil, Devil, Devil. Honestly, one of the worst. <laughs> one of the worst platformers you can play. I will say it's so bad and so funny that it lacks that uh, depressing... Uh, aspect that some bad platformers have, so it's it's at least not as depressing as Family Dog, but it may play worse than Family Dog. Is this better than or worse than Scrapyard Dog for the uh, Atari Lynx? I think it's worse. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's worse. Scrapyard Dog for the Lynx was one of the better ones. What about Scrapyard Dog for the 7800 game? This is way worse than that. Okay. Well, we are getting pretty low here. We're, uh, Scrappy Our Dog for the 7800 is in, like, the bottom 30, so we're in the bottom 30 here. Better than Socks the Cat Rocks the Hill? Oh, wait, I... we're not in the bottom 30 at all. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Uh, better or worse than... Ooh, how's this compared to Bubsy 2? Bubsy 2's pretty bad. Then again, I was here. Uh, how about compared to, uh, Energy on the PC Engine? Oh, Energy. I'm gonna say this is worse than Energy. We could be looking at bottom 20 here. Worse than BC Spectre Tires? Yeah. Bad. Worse than... Wild Woody. Ooh, Wild Woody's pretty bad. I think it's worse. I think it's worse. Worse than Lumno Wedding Bell? Okay, That's let's compare call. it to a game we played tonight. Is it better or worse than Power Factor? This is worse than Power Factor. I'm gonna say this is the worst Lynx platformer. Okay, well, that so, so below Power Factor is in the bottom. I'm 50 here, so we're getting pretty low. How about how about compare? Let's let's do uh the, the, the Hudson Hawk on the NES. <laughs> That's a good point of comparison. Uh -huh. I would say still worse. Okay, uh, Hardhead 2? Worse than that. Gordo! That was the lowest one on our list. Is this worse or better than Gordo 106? Alex, this is worse than Gordo 106. Okay, we are officially in the bottom 20 here. Uh, what about Bad Cat on the Amiga? Now we're talking. That game might be worse than this. What, what does the chat think? Is Bad Cat any worse than this? Look within your heart and tell me your feelings. Hey, look at that! Hey! Bad Cat had hot jams. That's true. 
this is worse. Okay, okay if you okay. would, put the gameplay screen big so that people can see this next part. Okay. <laughs> Batman just gets shotgunned to death by a bunch of policemen. He sure does! This is the rarely seen level 2 of Batman Returns for Lynx. I'm pretty sure this is as far as people got when this was on Cuso Grande. I'm just gonna try my strategy of jumping through. Okay, good luck. That cop's big! They hire big men. Big cop. So if they shoot you in midair over a pit, guess what? You die? You fall right in that pit. Oh. And you die. And there's no continues. <laughs> Bad cat. So worse, so worse than bad cat. Captain Planet and Planet are really low. That game's really bad. Worse than the Wizard of Oz. Yes. What do we think? I think yes. I think it's worse. But I don't think it's as bad as Top Banana. Yeah. I think between Captain Planet and Top Banana is where I want to put it. That sounds like a good place to me. What do you think? Chat, how do you feel about that? Where would you rank it if it was you, Alex? If you were in charge of the rankings, which you are. Well, I would I, well, I would put between Top and Ann and Captain Planet. Do it. Okay. In my opinion, this is the worst Lynx platformer. It is so unbelievably difficult. It's hard to do anything. It's hard to get any kind of enjoyment out of this, other than the fact that it's just so unplayable. It's kind of beyond belief. However, tonight we did show that there are a couple of good Lynx platformers. Switchblade 2, definitely check that one out. If you want to play uh, the other one, that was good too. Todd's Adventures in Slime World, an excellent game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There was also another game that I almost played called Viking Child, but that actually came out for Atari ST and Amiga, so I think we'll play that version instead. Okay. Shreks. Shreks. Make sure you duck in front of the mailbox. <laughs> and with that, we have played and ranked all of the eligible Atari Lynx platformers. How do we feel about ourselves? I feel bad. How about you? I feel accomplished. I was here. I feel I feel like that Joker on the bench there. That's how I feel. <laughs> I feel like I was here for whatever that's worth. This is what I look like now. This is what that stream did to me. It turned me into that that Joker on the <laughs> freaking the, the bench there. That's so good. If nothing else, though, we did it. We've ranked all the eligible Lynx platformers. Now you know what to play for the system and what to avoid. At least the bad games were kind of funny. Mm -hmm. There weren't any completely worthless games tonight. There's some pretty interesting stuff. I would like to play the final version of Fat Bobby someday. But Same. There we go. The Lynx platformers ranked. That, folks, it's the freaking weekend. It's the freaking weekend. Do whatever you want for the weekend. Go play Batman Returns or forget it ever existed and do anything else with your life. That would be uh, my advice. I agree with that. Patrons, and those who wish to become patrons, head to patreon.com slash retropals. If you're in at the $5 tier, you get access to an historic poll. Yes! Because we're actually going to cave to, to people's demands, people's requests. We're playing classic PC adventure games next week, the point and clicks. Your choices are, are we going to play King's Quest games, or are we going to play Police Quest games? Yeah, it's a good choice. Either way, it's nothing but Sierra adventure games next week, so uh, prepare your ass. Alex is probably going to die a whole lot. Oh yeah, I'm playing them too, so you guys see me playing these games, so maybe consider that as well. Yeah. All right, Alex, wrap this up. I'm going to look for a retarget. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPath. Outside of the Twitch, Twitch is here. Do check us out on YouTube. I think our latest Oh, it was uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. It was really, really good. Of course, I think I'll have it. But this one I really enjoyed because you get to see me and Danny trying to be monkeys and your ex. Discord, let me drop that link in the chat. Ooh. You can join us there to chat about our streams, chat about cats, requests, all that good stuff. So please join us there. I also posted a picture of Tess going to Blinky Mode. So uh, check that out if you want to see that. Yeah, she was under the heated blanket. It was really cute. We also have Blue Sky and co-host, co-host.org. Slash Retro Pals. We're both going to go live there. We've got new videos up on YouTube and all the Retro Pals news. Thank you. You're welcome. We are
celebrating Sasquatchulus, who is celebrating her three-year VTubing anniversary Yo! with several friends, including Jay from Wife City. It looks like Owen is there, too. That's going to be a hell of a time. So enjoy mm -hmm. that. Have a good rest of your evening and a good weekend. Yeah. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.